lose. I don't lose. I win. I win. That's my job. That's what I do. Plow Sims just redeemed first. Jason Gaines gifted a tier 1 subscription to Fossabot.
Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hey guys, let me scroll up, see who's here, what's up? Who got first, who did it? Plasimus got the first, grads Plasimus. Good morning, happy Friday, how you doing? Howdy brachas, good to see you. Thank you for the lurk poo, hope you have a great stream. Welcome on in, duders, happy Friday. A little bit of a slow start this morning, but this is what we do. It's Friday, Friday, weekend vibes. I hope y'all are digging the music, I think I'm gonna roll with the music. This little background, it's called Dark Country. It's pretty dope. I like it. It gives the feel I'm after for our character. And I'm starting up the game right now. That character being none other than Fireflies and Malcolm Reynolds. But how are we feeling? How's everyone? We we awake yet? I'm not. <laughs> but I hear. Allergies be like, what? It's fine. It's fine. All right. Let me go to the screen capture. Boop. Boop. There we are. There we are. What I figured today's plan will be is getting, um, I'm actually go to my settings and lower some stuff here. Let's lower music completely. As we'll roll with this as the background vibe. If it, and if anyone can do me a favor, if you're here, you're listening. If anything sounds off regarding voice to game to music ratio, feel free to let me know. I can lower or adjust as we go. All I did was lower the game music. Uh, let's go here. Start up the game. Mind me, adjusting a few wires. See that. There we go. But happy Friday, everyone. My weekend is not yet confirmed. That'll be tomorrow. That'll be my Friday. So I do have work this evening and then tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, 9 a.m. Central, that'll be more Fallout 4 with our John Wick run. Today is our Starfield Friday. As I've been enjoying the whole run with none other than... Good old Malcolm Reynolds. Where's his outfit? Let me see. There it is. The Firefly outfit. Yeah? He's nice. He's very nice. He looks good, too. I don't know if the modder uploaded a file that we could use next time to just load up the save, but it came out good. I had to follow along for quite a while on the screenshots, but it looks good. The next part of the goal, I believe, is to continue on this mission that we were doing with Sarah. Legit, dude, or long time no see. Are you back home, dude? Are you back home from vacation? Good to see you, homie. How are you? Good morning. Welcome on in, dude. How was your trip? Welcome back. Good morning to you. If you're working, it's okay if you need to alert, dude. <laughs> it's just, you know, we missed you. We missed you, dude. I'm, I'm glad you're doing okay. Back home? Awesome. Awesome. I'm hoping we're going to see a lot of pictures. Oh, no. <laughs> Take me Yes, it is Friday. Let's go. I'm trying to lock onto this dude. Bro, stop shooting. What are you doing? I'm gonna get you. See, I'm trying to get close enough to him so I can like dock, but he keeps shooting at me. This is like the sussiest thing. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> Welcome back, Legion. I'm glad you're doing okay, dude. It's good to see you back. I hope you're off for a few more days, dude, rather than, you know, going right back to work after a vacation. That can be a little rough. Legion having lunch. Do share. What's for lunch? What are the noms? Plows, it's Friday. It is. <laughs> Legion, Firefly Starfield sounds so much fun. It's not bad, dude. It's, um, oh, yeah, Legion, you weren't here when we created the character. Check it out. Look, does that coat look familiar? Does that pistol look familiar? Does that character look kind of familiar? Good old Malcolm Reynolds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we spent a while putting that together. <laughs> uh, so I, what I had was um, I just found some background music on, on the old internets, the interwebs, you know, on the nets. That it, apparently there's a genre that I'm just discovering, you know, over this last week called Dark Western. I never heard of it. 
it's dope. It is so dope. And there's a bunch of stuff that's non copy written that we can play with. All right, so that's uh, Mal's weapon right here. Let me save as we just landed. All right, we need to be sneaky because we're here to to save someone, and it could get very sus very quickly. So who's over here? I guess we go the other way? Because up here is the ship. Yeah, this way. I mean, I'm gonna take another sip of the morning coffee. Speaking of lunch, lunch and what you eating, what you nomin on, everyone. Morning, if you're having coffee, what you, what you drinking? How do you take your coffee? So the weapon's not strong and that's totally fine. <laughs> Let's mess with the Grendel for a bit. Yay! Where did you go? Where did you go? Yo, he ran right into my line of fire. Very bad decision. Let's reload. Where are you? I know there's more over here. Got you. Next. Yo, this is a tanky boy. Very tanky. Woo! I'm gonna get you. Dude, look how tanky they are. Dude, this is wild. I'm using so much ammo. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything there. Uh, how about this? Oh, they still have a bleed on them. They did. Okay, we're good, we're good. Legion says lunch today is just a quick pasta with tomato sauce and lots of parmesan cheese. No, I saw a pasta. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. It's good to have you back, Legion. It's good you're, you're back home. But it, it sounded like you needed the vacation, so I'm glad you and the, the wifey got to do that. To unwind, relax, enjoy the fruits of one's labor, so to speak. Long overdue, because y'all both work a lot. I'm glad you had a good time, dude. I'm hoping we'll see some pictures in the old Discord. Okay, now y'all feel free to let me know if maybe screen is too dark or anything like that. Because I could always adjust in display settings. So far it seems fine, but I'm going to adjust. Let's see, display, let's go brightness. Let's try there. Just for a little bit. There you go, that feels good. Yeah. I'll take that. But that's what we're doing today. Just a bunch of Starfield. Uh, for wait, excuse me. One inch punch, Grendel. Hello, hello. What? Hello. What is this? What is this? Ooh. Okay. Extended magazine, so it's double ammo capacity. Can you imagine a hundred round magazine and a? Th that's that's obscene. That's hostile. That's toxic masculinity is what that is. Incendiary. Randomly deals incendiary, so it does fire damage. One inch punch. Rounds fire in a shotgun-like spread? I... Uh, I'm gonna try it, you know. I'm gonna try it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Howdy, Span. Good morning. That looks phenomenal. No, you. So sorry, that was aggressive. How? <laughs> Morning, Span. Happy Friday. How's you? How are, how's everything going? Span, have you ever heard of a, of a song genre called Dark Western? D don't come at <laughs> No, that was a, yo a no you as in, you know, like, you look phenomenal. That that was the whole no you. That's I, I'm in that kind of mood this morning where if someone says, oh, that looks this. I go, you look like this. You know, that whole thing. I'm in that kind of. Yeah, it's fine. No. So, yeah, Dark Western. I'm new to this. I found this out last week. And I played the intro and I dug it, and then the, the game music that I have in one of the mods I'm using, it's too, like, modern, and it clashes with the whole, you know, Malcolm Reynolds vibe. This is, this is our, uh, this is Nathan Fillion, Malcolm Reynolds, the brown coats. I spent an hour on that face. A 
legitimate 60 plus minutes looking at screenshots because the modder uploaded a file that we could use, right, to just start the saving, start playing. So I thought, oh, it'll be easy. And then I find out, oh, the file got corrupted. The Nexus removed it. And they're like, yeah. And so the modder, he's cool. He's like, hey, I got you guys until my file's fixed or whatever. Here, here are my screenshots of everything I did. So I went screen by screenshot by screenshot. So I can't take credit because I'm not normally this creative. <laughs> All I did was I, I copied what, what they did. Go here, press this selection, press that. But it took an hour to make sure I did it right because Starfold settings are way different than like ESO. ESO, you have numbers to go by. Starfold, not really. It's just look at a bar. Is it roughly halfway down the bar? Yeah, okay. That's all you got. That's all you got. And his nose reminds me of Pacha. Now I can't unsee it. Well, have you ever seen Nathan Fillion's nose from the side? It's a little, it's a little curvy. It's a little flattish. Yeah. Yeah. It is like that. That is Malcolm Reynolds' nose, essentially. If you look at it, yeah, go go to a picture. Go to a picture. It's pretty close. Pretty close. I'm not gonna say this is 100. <laughs> percent I did the best I could. At least it has a look at an angle of Malcolm, which is a, more than what I was hoping for. Well, that's what we're doing. We're going to be starting the Free Star Collective missions. Are we in trouble again? Okay, no, we're good. And I have the background music to give us the feel of, you know, space western vibe. It may not be as intense when combat hits, but it's okay. I want the vibe of the old space western. Well, good morning, Spen. Hope you're doing well. If you need to do the lurk and do the, the business stuff, says that you're a very busy woman, I completely understand. But it is nice to see uh, see some people here in the morning on a Friday. For Starfoot, of all things, it's not my best... Uh, performing game but i i like it especially with the way i play it take something i enjoy firefly and bring it in here and it makes the game so much more enjoyable you think it's great good awesome thank you thank you can't take credit for it i'm just glad it came out something like the mod bracho says looks good but we'll be prepared for random alpaca <laughs> wait brought okay hold on i gotta tell you all about this so i was looking on the nexus the other day as I always do, because I have a problem installing mods mid playthrough. It's an it's a whole thing. I'm a whole thing. Is I saw a Vosco replacer, but it replaces this with BD1 from Jedi, the Jedi Survivor series. As in that tiny little droid that he wears on his back. It's on the Nexus, and you can replace a Vosco with that tiny little bot. So I might have an idea for the next run. After seeing that, because if I can have a tiny Vosco little bd1 with us i can't not do that i have to span says i'm doing good prepping for a meeting can hang for a tiny bit just doing all the stuff and things yeah it, it'd be that way it may it may be friday non-streaming but the grind never stops as it were i get you bracho says rp makes for a much enjoyable game i agree i agree you can only play like i mean as much as i love the witcher you're just the witcher again and I, I played it through a couple of times just trying different builds, but after I was done trying out different builds, I didn't go back unless I wanted to be the Witcher again. You can't really RP as something else, really. So it's a great role-playing game, but role-playing as Geralt, as the Witcher. So it's great for what it does, but if you want to go somewhere else with it, you can't really. You can't really. So I didn't... So that's why I'm, you know, I'm maybe still playing Skyrim or Fallout 4 or even Starford way more than I did there. As great of a game as Witcher is. Award-winning. Beautiful scenery. Great story. I, I needed the RP. I needed to be someone else in that world and then experience that world as them. That That's my gem. That's my gem. Oh, that's a gem. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Cowboys, grab your cowgirl. Grab your partner. Come on, a sound of dosi do. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I might have been to a square dance once or twice. <laughs> what? When the Legion, don't judge me. When the jam hits, you gotta dance it out, right? <laughs> it's been a long week. I'm just gonna take off my bra, put my high heels, my wallet, my purse, all on the ground, and just dance around it like a tribal dance. I'm kidding. I don't know where that came from. I apologize. I'm drinking more coffee. I'm delirious. Oh, it took a turn. Now it's getting more rockish. Squad time. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. It's fine. Where are we going? Okay, so we're going back to Alpha Centauri. Okay. And if y'all missed the last uh, episode, I guess, of Malcolm Goes to Space again. 
So the story of Malcolm and why he exists in Starfield, we came up with the short story. By way, I mean me, I just did it on the, on the fly. Is that he became disillusioned with the Freestar Collective, his old war buddies, his war troop, based on how things were being run. You know, Malcolm, he has a certain sense of morality, right and wrong. And the powers that be that were in place, he wasn't on board. So he says, rather than, you know, being the insubordinate person, being part of the troop, he says, I'm going to leave. Will you let me go? He left. He became a miner. And that's where the Starfield story starts, is they're in a mine. Stuff happens. And now Malcolm is on the journey to find out what's going on. So in the course of doing this main mission we're doing, it'll take us back to them. And then our story will continue there. Bracha says, when your hype song comes on the gym playlist and suddenly you got a second win, right? <laughs> you get it. You get it. Good morning, Stillstrom. Happy Friday, dude. How you doing? So I have Sam Co as a companion and tried to do Back to Vectera to find Barrett. Every time I try to go back to Argos, the game crashes. Really? So I'm thinking I have to have Sarah as a companion to do the quest. I put a new helmet I acquired yesterday in post Okay, dope. I saw that. I saw that. I didn't uh, comment that as I was like heading to sleep. And by the time I got up this morning, you know, the whole scramble of morning, get up, the posts, get online. But for sure, I, I saw the stats and I remember like, bro, you you're just finding the dankest stuff. By dank, I mean amazing. On your playthrough. And you said it was very hard difficulty, right? I think that's where, that's where all the good stuff drops. As our character starts feeling more powerful, I think that's something we'll do. But I hope everyone's having a wonderful morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me this morning. Hope you got a cup of coffee. Hope you're enjoying the background Western vibes for good old Malcolm Reynolds. Because the aim is to misbehave. I swear by my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. So we're only doing the main mission until Sam shows up. And then once we have Sam with us, then we're going to tangent to the Freestar Collective with our buddy Sam along for the ride. That's the idea I have here. Span, love that quote. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great episode too. Like because of Malcolm or AKA uh, Nathan totally leaned into the, I guess the RP of the Pretty Floral Bonnet. <laughs> I was like, I, I love them so much. They're wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Stillstrom, and my spacesuit design skill is at rank four. Oh, so you can put all the bells and whistles on your stuff, right? Legion, the accent was nice. <laughs> I might I might be from the south. I might hear that a time or two, you know. So many good quotes. It's such a quotable show, and I'm... <sighs> it, it, it got canceled before its time, you know, before people really caught on to how wonderful that show was. Is it didn't hit right away, you know, the world wasn't ready. These artifacts are a new and then, you know, didn't even finish its season. There's like, what, 13 episodes or something like that? But at least we got the Serenity movie. At least we got Serenity movie. Because Serenity, such a good movie. They brought the whole gang back together. All the quotes, all the fun. So good. Oh, still certain, by the way, I went ahead and did the update. Thank you for uh, reminding me about how the beta went into full release. So I went ahead and updated mid playthrough. Apparently it was safe to do that since all I'm using is meshes and textures. And since in the base game that's in a different file, I was totally fine to update. So thank you for letting me know that release so I could uh, update and get all the bells and whistles, all the shinies. Span says it is really good and gave us a tiny bit of closure. It is. I was very happy for that because I, I saw like, you know, when, when it aired. And then, of course, when it's just done, we're like, but it's over. What? And then years later, the movie. <gasps> it was it was what was needed. And we got to see River, good old Summer Glau, really come into their own as a character. Which I, which was one of the, the highlights of the Serenity movie, personally. But, of course, my favorite moment is Mal uh, tricking the, the antagonist of the movie. At, at, towards the end, you know, when he did his little move to paralyze Mal, Mal's like, oh, he don't know. I was in war. There's nothing there anymore. There's no nerves. They're gone. And he totally tricked him with that. Very smart. Very smart. All right, so the next part, here we are. This is where we were going to go to, right here. Oh, my parents are here. So if y'all weren't here for, like, the first playthrough we did as Gaines, a.k.a. me, we took a trait on Mal, just for this run, as you get free stuff all the time, is I guess Mal's parents are still alive in this universe? Uh, hey mom. There is. Any gossip? 
One of your old classmates made junior VP at Galbank. I know, Mom. Everyone in my school who graduated along with me is so much more successful. I know. Anyone else have parents like this? <laughs> you ever consider moving somewhere cheaper? I'm asking because I'm paying the bill, so I'm wondering. You Maybe, Mom? Maybe? Stilstrom, so when do the Freestar Faction missions, you eventually get a quest from Diego, who is a Freestar Ranger at The Rock, gives a quest, pays 9500 for completing it. So far, Diego? I'll keep an eye on that name. Because we're going to do bounties. Like, we're going to do the main mission to get the ship. But bounties are totally going to be part of the run. That's part of it. The old Frontier Gains needs to make that Frontier justice. Ah, uh, really? All right, thanks, Mom. Oh, Mom. Oh, wholesome. What's up, Pop? I hope you don't mind, but mm -hmm. I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, right, because I told them I got hired. Not hired, but involved with constellations, so they came by. <gasps> really, Mom? You, you dreamt of joining? No. <laughs> Well, Mom, I can't really imagine you as a kid. <laughs> hey, I'm not that old, dear. <laughs> but I'll let your father talk before he Oh, bursts. mother. Dillstrom, you get it from the mission terminal. Okay, yeah, we're going to do those for sure. The mission terminal? Absolutely. Brachos, you told your parents you got high. No, no, no. Hired, Brachos. Bruh. Bruh. Wait, you aren't, you aren't that close with your parents like that? You can't just tell them, yeah, I got high today. Are you doing okay? Yeah, just mind me. I'm going to be a little iffy this morning. Watch out for your boy. I had too much. If you can't be honest with your parents, <laughs> I'm kidding with your brushes. Span. Oh my god, this dialogue. It's funny. If you pick the kid stuff trait, they'll show up on and off throughout the main quest, and you'll get free stuff along the way. But the combo, it's very, it's very child parent to the point you're like, bro, I, I swear I've heard this from my parents, or somebody can relate. It's so good. How about this, Dad? Next person I shirt, I'll think of you. No, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, he gave me a weapon. See what I mean? Free stuff. Just free stuff. Okay, Dad, thank you for the weapon. How about this? The next person I shoot, I'll think of you because, you know, I love you, Dad. I am. I am, Dad. It's fine. Thank you, Pops. He apparently won this gun in a poker match or something. All right. Y'all take care. Good to see you, folks. Love y'all. Bracho says, this morning, we're learning a lot about young gains today. I mean, I wasn't always, you know, uh, a well-behaved, mild-mannered reporter working for the Daily Metropolitan Planet newspaper. Wait, that's a different person. That's a different person. I digress. Span, it's on brand. It's perfect. Plausimus, what is happening? No, those are my parents. Plow, in Starfield, you can have parents. And the cool thing is whatever you make your character look like. This is Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly, by the way is whatever you make your character look like, the game will then adjust their facial features, their background, their skin tone, to look more like you. It's amazing. So these are our parents, and the convos we have, they're so funny. It's very like, oh mom, oh dad, like that feeling you get, they captured that. I don't know how they did it, but they do it every time. So our father just did this. He apparently won a weapon in a poker match. Yo! He won an old 1911? Bro! Wow, he, he just won a pistol in a poker match. Wow. Dad's wild. Bruh. Bracho, so you get to have a mom and a dad, true fiction. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> this is definitely a video game, ain't it? Who was he playing poker with? I, I don't know, but they apparently had an old 1911 with an extended mag in the... Like, you see that? That means there's like a few more bullets per per mag. That's wild. That's custom. Dang. That's dope. Okay, so can we like... Do we have 45 anywhere else? Because we need to put some ammo on that. That could be a fun weapon to have. I mean, we have our main pistol. Uh, this is our main pistol because it's Mal's pistol from the Firefly show. I know, we managed to find this on the, the Nexus mod site. Don't ask me how. It It, it was just there. And so was our outfit. Yeah, this outfit, that's not in the base game. It just happened to be on there. Let's do that. Let's favorite it. Uh, we'll put that here. Let's check it out. Mind me, Dad. I'm just going to check out the weapon you gave me. Oh. 
Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go talk to Sam. We got stuff to do. I got distracted talking to my parents. Anybody else like that? This dad has some backstory. That's what I want to know. It's like, well, he's retired now. Uh, apparently what my parents did in this, the story here is they both saved up for a very long time. They got close to retirement, but not quite. So what I decided to do was give them 2% of my income very often to help. But, but of course, they're like, oh, since we're getting help, how about we move to New Atlantis, a very pricey city? It's like, bro, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're retired. You know, they ain't got much time left. It's like, all right. All right. We'll do that. So they, they got nothing but free time on their hands. When we first went to go see them, the last game, they were, uh, not the last game, but um, last week, uh, since we do this every Friday, is it my mom was trying to get my dad to go teach him flamenco lessons or something, you know, very Latin. We need to go learn to dance. And he's like, well, we got all the time. And she's like, I mean, so it's just funny. You're seeing a retired couple trying to fill out their time. And apparently he got involved in a poker match and he's apparently good at it. So that's nice. That could have gone real bad. Good to see you, good old Samco. Our brosif, our brosiden, our brotato chip. Bracho says they ain't got much time left. What? What? They're, they're re Did you not see them? Well, in, like we'll put this in comparison to say you know a thirty-year-old person, and then you talk about a seventy-year-old person who has more time left. Assuming nothing major, accidental-wise happens. I'm not really digging myself out of this grave, am I? That's fine. I, I live here now. I just live here. I even have a new emoji regarding to how I'm always digging myself into a pile of trash or a grave. It's called um, Jason Gaines Pineapple Trash. Yeah, it's there. If you're a sub duder, you have access to that. All right, what are we doing? Okay, we got to travel to Aquila City. Let's save. And let's head on out. I believe we can fast travel direct from here. I love the fast travel system. If you use the journal, if you're trying to do the immersive route, go to the map, go to your ship. Like, eh, it's too many steps. Sure, scan away. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for invading my privacy. Wonderful. Uh, we're going to Aquila City now. This is the town that's going to go so well with the background tracks we have today. And the first three of them that we have, they're just like hour-long playlists of um, what the artist is calling Dark Western. The name of the artist on YouTube, uh, no copyright, is Marika Shans. Shans spelled S-C-H-A-N-Z. And that will be on the intro and the ending screen, so if you like to hear those for yourself, they're pretty good. I really like it. It gives the vibe I'm after. I did recolor that ship a little bit. I wasn't a fan of the old rotten avocado yellow they put on the ship at the beginning eh i changed it i changed it i think it looks a little better now all right we're here good old aquila city a new adventure awaits us it's about time for us to meet good old sam co and to see just what kind of frontier justice needs to be dispensed here in this here verse i'm gonna stop that accent I might have heard plenty of people growing up talk like that. Sam, are you ready? I'm ready. I think we're all ready. Shall we? Oh, let me do this. Howdy. All right, we're here. Mm hmm You ready? Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail until this is over. I get it, Sam. That's a little... Uh, that's a bit forward, Sam. You might want to choose your phrasing on that. I get you, though. The old stick on you like white on rice? I get you. There's uh, something you should know up front. Uh-oh. I'm a co. Mm hmm As in Solomon Co. first man on the Oh. The tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact. It's something about... Every time I hear Sam's story, I'm reminded of the old TV show called Dallas, where it's like low-key a family dynasty. And he found a tiny... I don't know. That's just where my brain went. I only watched a little bit of it. Bracho's gonna do the lurk, doing Bankerai Zone story. Got a lot of dialogue coming up. Okie dokie, Bracho. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Do the lurk. Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having fun in ESO. Ah, okay. Wait, so you're related to the man who actually founded the entire faction that I used to work with and work for during the war? Yeah, 
Sorry. Yeah. I thought you were just being polite, not mentioning it at all. Oh. A lot of people who don't know me assume my last name is Ko. No, I mean, I'm aware. I just didn't know that was the same Ko. In the I mean, because I, I meet last name Smith so, everywhere, but I don't assume they're related. Legacy, or at least down here in South Texas, there's a heavy uh, Latino culture. So, so you can't just assume last name Gonzalez means, oh, are you related to... No, because that might be a little offensive. <laughs> Or like, oh, your last name Rodriguez, and you can't assume, hey, do you know this person? You're like, bro, that's a little offensive. We're not all related. What do you mean? It's that whole thing. Legion, I like his hat. We can get that hat. But I don't recall Nathan wearing the hat, right? So we got to... If we find one, we'll wear it just because. Maybe for the mission. All right, so we find the empty nest and the artifact, right? Solomon's maps are locked up tight. Mm-hmm. And y'all feel free to let me know if the background music is too loud, too low, versus the game audio and my audio. I appreciate any feedback as this is the first time on this game that I'm using some background music. So hopefully it's hopefully everything sounds fine. Right, we did loot a bunch of stuff, so let's sell. But this feels good though, right? This town looks a little run down. Feels very Firefly-ish. This feels right. Feels right. All right, I'm gonna sell stuff. I'm not selling that pistol, my, my father gave me that. Modified Grendel, crippling, nah. I'm gonna get rid of that and that. We got a new one. That we'll leave alone. Mm. Now, I like the Mantis suit we got. This is our Mantis replacer. It's um, modeled after a comic book's Star-Lord look a little bit. I dig it. This one we got last week. It was a very tough fight, and we ran out of med packs, so we're still bringing our stuff back. So let me get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. This we're not going to wear. Is there anything else I don't need? We have 12 med packs now, which is nice. This we're getting rid of, and this, and this. All right. Sounds good to me. Let's see if we can find some 45 and more med packs. As we mosey ourselves on into good old Aquila City. What? What? By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need mm -hmm. to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Okay. Folks might be in danger, so I oh. want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. <laughs> I know Ain't you. that right, Sam? You Sam Co. He might be. Marshall be damn glad to have another free star ranger helping out. Whoa, just because he's here doesn't mean he's like here to like be put to work, bro. Like we're we're doing something. But I'll Well, what would Malcolm do? What would Malcolm do? What's the trouble? Stillstrom says, Did you get the major gift yet from your parents in the other playthrough? Yes, we got the first major gift. We're still working our way towards the extra, but we just got the gun just now. The gun that our, our father won from the poker match. We just got that. Sir Livingston Pistol. And I think as we continue down uh, more quests and we go back and meet our parents, we'll get more stuff. Is Marshall Blake in charge of security? Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the So once we get in the city, we're going to look at a few shops and see if we can find more 45 uh, for that particular pistol. Hmm. I know generally Mal, at least in this universe, they might want to keep a low profile and not put themselves in trouble. Well, we'll I'll say I'll keep it in mind, but we'll we'll get close to them and we'll find out. You think you might be able to help out? Mm-hmm. You can talk to the marshal. I'll, the I'll ask. I heard. Things weren't going so good. Yeah, maybe. We'll yeah, find out. Robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. Oh, we need to get in there? Let's see if we can help move the situation. Oh, so we got to help anyway. But I did uh, still stream in my first playthrough as gains. We went through all the, the gifts from our parents. The gun to grandma's old uh, spacesuit and then the spaceship. So we got them all in the last playthrough of um, before Regina. This is before Regina. And I, I would like to get those here too. All right, uh, Sheriff. As you see, the sheriff is wearing the same red coat, we, uh, brown coat we're at. So what I did was, since I installed a replacer, 
Any other character in the game who wears that same item now wears the one we installed. Doodling monkey. Happy Friday, doodles. Weekend confirmed. Am I right? Almost there. I know the day's starting. Hope Drink your day goes by quick. Some water. Thank you, doodles. Appreciate you. How did everything go last night? I was mainly lurking because I was working. And then I went to sleep right after. Like, what's 11 p.m. hit? I was like, clock out, sleep, because I got stuff to do this morning. Welcome to the stuff I got to do this morning. <laughs> There's no other time I could stream. I could stream right after and be the overnight, but then my, my friends are in here, you know, and I would I would miss everybody. I mean, it sounds like you could use some help. We're playing as a Firefly's Malcolm Reynolds. Okay, Sam. But how's you, Doodle? How's your Friday? How are you? How's Wosh? How are y'all doing this morning? Uh-huh. And to everyone who's here hanging out with me, happy Friday. I hope, uh, hope everyone's week hasn't been too difficult, too trying. But it's Friday. If uh, this is your last workday for the week, I hope it goes by quick. You get to move on to the stuff you want to do. Relax, play games, vibe, hang out with people you care about. All the good stuff. Today's my Thursday, not my Friday. Tomorrow, that'll be my... We are going to be back here tomorrow, though. 9 uh, a.m. Central for more Fallout 4 with John Wick tonight. Uh, today. It's a good old Malcolm Reynolds. Doodling sends it was super fun as normal. We're good. Just working, hanging out with the animals. I, lo I love that for you both, that y'all have the shared workspace now. It must help the day go by a little quicker, right? I hope so. Stillstrom says, I put my current ship build in post picks. My ship was so big that when I landed at an ecliptic base, it went into the buildings. <laughs> The game wasn't ready. <laughs> the building went inside the cockpit. That's funny, dude. So the game was able to let you build that large, and then the game world's like, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Doodle says, how was work last night? It. I, I will say thank you to, to Doodle and Esky and their run, and I was also like lurking in a few others, for helping the day go by quicker. It, uh, work changing from the different shift. It's been a little bit... um. Stressful is not a strong enough word, so I'm adjusting, but it helps having, you know, feeling like you're around people, you know, friends, seeing them have a good time playing the game, and that helps distract a little more so that my workshop will pass by a little quicker. So thank you for streaming. Thank you for playing with Esky. Thank you all for doing what y'all do in the evenings. It's the same way, you know, you're hanging out with me, maybe leaving a lurk up. It's helping my day, too, uh, and the evenings go by quicker. So thank you for that. It helps. Myron, good morning, dude, or happy Friday. Wanders in, yeah, I'm late. Had appointments this morning. <laughs> You're not late to anything, Myron. You don't you don't have to be here if you can't make it, dude. But you know I love having you here, Myron. Say hello to Myron, everybody. Dr. Chick and Daddy, that's spelled C-H-I-K, initial N, last name D-A-D-I, Dr. Chick and Daddy. That's our resident um, Lord of the... No. Lord of the Roosters. I almost said something else. It's too early for that, right? Is that too early? <laughs> no, no, you. All right, shall we? Well, that's what I meant. Is that while we're wearing the the old Malcolm Reynolds brown coat, since it's a replacer that doesn't mess with your game, and you can update the game patch files, which is what I did. First, I was running the beta, and now the beta is in full release. I just patched it. I just went ahead and said, okay, install. And all we're using is replacers, so it won't break anything. But the only thing is, if anyone else wears the outfit, they'll have the outfit too. But I think this fits, right? As Malcolm was with the brown coats, and the Marshall is also wearing a brown coat. Feels right. Feels right. I hope y'all are enjoying the background music vibes. I feel it fits. I feel it fits. Myron says, I'm done with appointments for the day, so you can relax now. Awesome, awesome. Hope you got a cup of coffee, you got some water. Relax, chill, enjoy some dark western music vibes in the back as we chill the fireflies malcolm reynolds i'm trying to help out this hostage crisis with the bank right now let's see if we can do this and let me double check my sound settings if i'm capable of doing that i'm pretty sure i, I raised the volume all the way up but i'm gonna double check are you sure you want to stay trapped in this bank Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. Skipping. Um, how about this? Should I say it in customary Southern? Frankly, I don't need your trust. I've got the marshal and the guards on my side. 
and they've all got real itchy Tranger fingers. Nope, didn't work. He's like, that was an awful accent. Try again. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna get this. Ugh. No, no. He's like, your accent's awful. Get out of here. <laughs> While I swear my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. How about tell me your demands? Of course, you you want safe passage away, and you want to take the hostages with you. No one's gonna, no one ever goes for that. That's a tall order. All right then. All right, all right. Skipping combo. I can try to persuade again. I'm not gonna do an accent this time because it failed. What if your hostages have families? Do you really want to deprive children of their parents? Wait, will this work? Oh! Ooh! I need five more points. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. How about this? Give up now. You'll do some time, sure. But nowhere near as much as you would if a hostage dies. Think it through. Think it through, man! I'm, I'm, over, I'm overacting, sorry. <gasps> the overacting is working, dudes. Oh, I just need four more points. Oh, I'm not going to make it, dude. I can pick any one of these, but I didn't get enough points. Look, the marshal's going to keep those hostages safe, whatever it takes. Let them go before he takes drastic action. Nope. I suck. <laughs> All right. I tried. Now, let's be honest. Max, Malcolm Reynolds has charisma out the yin-yang. They would totally work this out. But I'm not Max Malcolm Reynolds yet. We're, we just started the game. I tried. I tried. Stillstrom says, ever watch the Rookie TV series with Nathan Fillion? I like him in this. Oh, I've never seen the Rookie TV show. I saw that he, because I followed him since Firefly. Saw a few other shows. I, I loved him in the TV show Castle. He was so good in Castle. And then I saw Rookie was coming out. That one I didn't watch is, I don't know, like... I blame the internet and I blame Netflix and Hulu for existing and doing this to me is now I have trouble just watching a show one episode week to week. It's like if I find a really good show and I got time, I want to binge it. But if it's a bingeable, I would like to watch it. All right, let me check my sound settings. That's what I almost forgot to do. Oh, no wonder. Here we go. All right, audio should be better now, dudes. Like we should hear conversation much better now. And let's save since I just did that. All right. All right, Marshal. Let's have a conversation. Those guys are scared. I can tell. They are. I heard every word. He's talking. Hopefully, this sounds better to y'all. Sounds better to me. I can hear the uh, voices a little better. I forgot to turn it back up after testing offline. Myron shakes head sadly. Mommy would never let them get away with that. I like how they're not Dommy Mommy anymore, Myron. It's so escalated. Y'all are so close now. <laughs> There must be something more we can do, Marshal. I appreciate your idealism. Mm -hmm. But there were only ever two ways this could end. Okay. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves And if you're currently lurking, uh, feel free to lower your sound if you want we to. I went to ahead and raised options, my gain sound. We will be getting in a little bit of combat here, so that'll be a good indicator of what it'll sound like for the rest of the stream. I don't want to blow it out, blow out anybody's ears or distract if y'all are doing stuff. Them. So just letting you know, I raised the game volume. Um, I could go in, but I'm not part of your security force, so I might be able to catch him off guard. What do you think? You'd be willing to do that? I mean, You've I aim to misbehave. Guts, that's for damn sure. Mm. I can't deny that you're right, though. Right? They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. Mm -hmm. You could ask to see the hostages. I could. And once you're inside, you can make your move. Mm -hmm. If you're quick. Mm -hmm. I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. Right. But you'll have to shoot to kill. Oh, boy. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front So he here, doesn't so want me to resolve this peacefully. He wants the old uh, this key smash and grab, as it were. I'm sure everything will uh. turn out just fine. Who are you? Please stay calm and let our security forces do their work. You don't have one lick of mud on your boots. I I might be judging a dude based on his appearance right now, but um. All right. 
so I have choices here. I could try to talk my way into the bank through the front door, or I could go through the back to do the old smashy smash. What do I have? What has more ammo? What do I have that has more ammo? Uh, we could do the old shoddy. Hmm. Thinking. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try the front door just to see what happens. What Let's talk. Say? We have a deal? Not quite. Deal is a big word. It's a. It's not the appropriate word here. Um. How about this? A show of goodwill would help, like letting me see the hostages. I guess that'd be all right. Oh, no so persuasion needed. First. Oh. No you in here armed. So he wants me to ditch the. <laughs> I like how the persuade just says, "Hold on, hear me out for a minute." <laughs> oh. Fine. I'll make it quick. Hold on. Okay, so I need. And I'm looking at the persuasion points at the bottom of the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Look, you got me outnumbered. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Well, maybe. Damn it! I just ain't taking any <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, look, I have a right to defend myself. I'm not giving that up while you and your crew are armed. You nope. It's not happening. It's not happening. All right. That's true. Uh, how about this? What? Oh my gosh! Damn it, we're not it worked! I just picked a button! All right. Oh! Fine. But if you so much the dream! Amazing! Bruh, it worked! Wow! I didn't think that was gonna work. I really did not think that was gonna work. We should save before this happens. It's about to get hairy. Oh dear. Um... Sam, you Sam, you better have my back here, dude. I should probably heal up a little, honestly. Uh, let's use a little, little bit of that, a little bit of this. Okay, a little bit of healies. I see my HP going up on the lower right. Very nice. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Follow me. Okay. Eliminate the bank robbers. Well, sorry to put it to you this way, bub, but um, we don't trust you. What the hell? I'm not going down without a fight. Oh, that pack a punch. What? Oh. I like how the music is kind of perfect right now. Yo, this shoddy's doing work. All right, we got to get the rest of them. We got to get the rest of them. Let's see. Do I have any grenades? I do not. Do I have anything else? I do have this. I haven't messed with it yet. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, you are. So I'm totally using this little electrical minigun we found. It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Stop shooting Sam. Yo, this thing does work. This is my favorite part. All right, Sam. We got him. We got him bottlenecked here, Sam. We just got to hang here. tight. We just got to hang tight, Sam. We will loot after. I know they're waiting for me maybe to be out in the open. I hate hide and seek. Got him. And the dance of victory. Ba 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 ba. Are y'all okay? Here, I'll put my weapon away. Sorry. Are y'all good? You all right? Now I have two heroes, Solomon Cole and you. Aww, that's very wholesome. All right, we're going to take their weapons because we're going to sell all this stuff. The Free Star Collective Marshals do not negotiate with terrorists. Okay, Harrison Ford. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I would be stealing. I don't want to steal. I'm I'm supposed to be the, you know. While I do aim to misbehave, we do have a little bit of a sense of morality. So can I, like, get the stuff now? Versus... Can we get it than somewhere else? Well, yeah. So, hmm. Job gun wrong. Empty nest. 
Oh, we need to complete job gun wrong. Then we can come back in here. Okay, so that's what they want us to do. Okay. Okay. This is where the quest log really comes in handy. And look at you. You're just right back to your desk. What a devoted employee. We owe you everything. Bro, you're, you're just gonna... Spend the rest of the day working like you just didn't almost get robbed and traumatized? Yo, these people are built differently, am I right? Jeez. I would at least take a mental health day. I mean, bruh. They're like, nope. Time is money. I'm like, okay, y'all wild. Y'all are wild. Achilla City. Achilleans are built differently. Gangs making fools of us all. I mean, they're, they're nice gone work. now. Oh, thanks. I heard the fight. The hostages. Are they safe? They, they're safe. We did it. That's, that's we didn't want it to go hear. down like that, but they weren't Those listening. They weren't willing to negotiate. Free Star Collective, they're like family. Yep. We all are. As for the Shaw gang, mm -hmm. we'll grieve for them too. It didn't have to go down yeah. this way. You more than earned this. You got us out of a Where tough did spot. Me? You did it with courage that's not common. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you might just be free star You see what I mean? Is as we do the main quest, we'll find if this, and then we can the just follow this, this all the way through she to do me. more of uh, free star stuff. Ooh, right. XP, let's go. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. All right, sounds good, Sam. We'll get the maps. Moving to Midtown is the best thing that's happened. They didn't hurt you, did they? It's okay. Oh, he was a hostage. I'm okay. I, I just need a minute. Are y'all okay? A man should provide for his family, not drag them down along with him. Damn. I've got to do better. Jeez. Oh, Up. Uh, Eliz Elizabeth. Well, that was fun. Oh my gosh, these people are awful. <laughs> no, no, like that. They were more Wait, what? Okay. Good. Glad that's over with. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that they have little convos after the whole Galbank hostage situation is over. I forgot about that. That's a nice detail because it's not like, oh, hey, the quest is over. Now let's move on. It's like, no, see the aftermath. Look what happens. Look how they talk to each other. That's cool. Very cool. So the whole reason we came here to Aquila City is to find some maps that apparently Sam Co may have access to. Oh, can I take these? Can I have them? Thank you. Wait, so was that there in case I chose to walk in here without a weapon? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so let's find what we need to find here. Let's see. Alright. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Alright, th thank you for throwing the key directly down the stairs right towards okay, my face. Now remember, awesome. Solomon was from the earlier generation. So mm -hmm. not gonna be on a slate. Big bundles of paper. I see. Fresh. Okay. Okay. So let me make sure I'm tracking the right quest. Is we are gonna do that, but I wanna do this part first. So let's track that. This way it'll show the pop-ups. Those are my homies who are familiar with the SO. We'll see that. Oh no. Maria, the dancing in September. Maria. Do you remember on the 21st day of September? <laughs> Thank you for redeeming September, Plow. How's your day going, Plow? How you doing? You hanging in there? Nope, we didn't need this. How about this? Ooh, there it is. That's what we needed. This Sam? Is this it? Almost done with my coffee. That's a sad moment. Jacob. Of course, that old mule saw this coming. The happiness is the truth. Myron, give dog me to treat. You want me to give Sam Co a treat? Just redeemed Fallout 4. <laughs> Myron, you troll. To treat. You're so it. I'll tell you what, when I have access to Sam Co's inventory, I'll give him like a food item. How about that? <laughs> or I could just refund you your points. That's hey, funny. Boy. You know any tricks? Howdy, Tanzorum. Happy Friday. How's you? How's your day going? He's just a bitter old man. Myron, I just wanted to see if the You're redeem would work. Yeah, I forgot to turn those off. I just left them on there. I got lazy this morning. I mean, it's the morning. I'm like, bro, I'm just 
No, I'm doing. just trying to, to live right now. I was hoping to avoid this Hydrate. Howdy, day. howdy, howdy to you. How goes your Friday? Oh, How's everyone so doing? Bad. What are we up to this Friday? Working. Having some coffee. Some breaky. We really gotta do this. Second breakfast, maybe. No? Come on, I was Freestar. <laughs> 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 that song goes so hard. Had to pull that one out. Working in coffee, hell yeah. Well, hopefully, um, Fine. having me on the side He's monitor, having okay. me in the background. Hopefully, that no, helps you to go by a little quicker. Turns. We're gonna be doing a little country ish. Probably figured I'd come for the maps. Let's go to old Malcolm Reynolds and Firefly. Some Western Family styles in the background. Hopefully, it gets get you through. Into, you know? Myron says, but you can give Sam a beer. That'll work. I can give him a beer. Yeah, as soon as we're able to do that, we'll do that. Yeah, well, sorry, I'm such a. Because I don't want bitch. points wasted. <laughs> <laughs> no forgiveness between me and my old man. Okay. It's uh Plow same cold with tradition. vibes. So morning so working right. coffee and vibes Show nice. Me. Do you sprinkle little vibes in the coffee? Is that how that works? It's like you you go to, to take the order at Starbucks and you're like, here, I want a large venti, I want a caramel macchiato, uh just two pumps of vanilla and sprinkle with vibes. And then you do the whole the whole salt bay, you know, where you sprinkle off your forearm instead of, you know, like just sprinkle. Just a little sprinkle. I could really use the coffee with vibes. I mean, I got vibes. It's Friday. I don't know. Like, no matter how many different shifts I work or different days off I've worked, Friday always feels like Friday. And thank goodness, right? Oh, Sam. Let's oh, I can give him a beer. You find a new pistol. There you go, Myron. There you go. I can do this. So it counts. So it's not dog meat, <laughs> but I'm giving my companion a treat. So here we go. Here you go. Add a... Uh, what time is it? Roughly 10 a.m. Central here in Texas. I'm giving Sam a beer. There you go. Hope you like it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Not as satisfying as the treat in Dog Me from Fallout 4. It still counts. I give him a treat. <laughs> like, it's 10 a.m., bro. Why are you giving me a beer? I don't... It's not from me. It's Myron. Myron gave you a beer. I didn't do it. Myron did it. Tandorum Twix Coffee is vibes. So, like... You have coffee and you dip the Twix. Oh, that sounds good, actually. And we're currently in Ads Duders. Don't worry, we're just doing a bunch of dialogue. It won't take us that long. Let's do this. We got to talk to Jacob. Ooh. Yo, that has some Red Dead Redemption vibes on that track. Hello. I dig it. All right, we need to go this way. We got somebody we Ranger need to talk Central. to. Not a bad bar, too. Hoppy! Evening, evening, evening. Oh? Why, thank you. We'll see. We'll see. Snake! Coke ready! Howdy, Snake. Howdy, dude. Or happy Friday, dude. Today's the day, right? Today's the day? Did you already do the thing? Are you back from the thing? Dude, I've been sending out some, so much positive energy and vibes for you, dude. You have no idea. I'm really hoping to hear some good news from you. You did the thing this morning. Awesome. How did it go? Tell me all about it, dude. If you're comfortable, of course, tell me all about it. And y'all be sure to check out my dear friend Snake. Uh, they've been recently doing some revisit of the Tomb Raider, uh, the newer trilogy, and a few other games. Always a good time to hang with, great conversation, and not to mention the accent is just chef kiss. Oh, what's that? Oh, is this what's happening? You come to your senses. Snake says I've been trying but falling in now. Okay, <laughs> you're trying to catch some rest. I mean, you ain't asked once. If I'm able to help, you know, <laughs> the old sleepler. Be happy to. But it's good to see you, Snake. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing all right. Hope to hear some good news regarding the position in the interview. I hope you hear sooner than later. The wait is the part that's awful. Come to help Sam loot his ancestors. It's like, just tell me yes or no. You're not getting those maps. Okay. Full stop. This dude's so toxic. Uh, Sam, talk some sense into your dude. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. Yeah, you do. That's exactly right. Sam Co. Good old Walker, Texas Ranger legs. Chuck Norris. Only I know once I said that, y'all are not going to be able to unsee that image of Sam Coe as Chuck Norris right, from Walker, Texas enough. Ranger. I make no apologies. Right, let's you and I talk in private. Same soundtrack, too. <laughs> Welcome home, sir. Make your visit short, okay? All right, fine. It's what you do. Ugh, families be like what? Well, I get stuffy sometimes. You know? Give me a sec. Snake says, I think it went well. 
the oral exam took over an hour. Jeez, All compared right. to the half hour it took options. for the guy before you? Hmm. They are going to send the results next week. And the week after at the latest. Okay, so next week. I hope you hear back sooner rather than later. The wait's the, the tough part. You're flying in the face I will of my continue to send out the positive vibes the and the good energy for you, my dude. I really hope you hear good news. Like and you can have a, one major stress off you. I know, I know it's been tough, man. Believe in for you. I'll be sure to send snake energy. Whatever you believe, whatever you don't believe. Hey, positive thoughts work. I'm a believer in that. Tandorum says that too, but no. Actually, coffee that tastes, tastes like Twix with a splash of caramel creamer because caramel is also vibes. You ain't wrong. Still strong families equal I'm drama. You're not wrong there. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, that's not your dis We got to stick together. We got to keep an eye out for each other. Especially when it comes to work situations. You know, you got to have the positive vibes and thoughts. I, I believe it works. How about, how about this? The sooner you agree, the sooner we can leave. Right? <laughs> ha! Maybe you're right. Nice. I can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. <gasps> so we don't have to you steal have it. The maps. All right. They're in the other room here. Key. Well, if the persuasion didn't work, I was just going to have Sam distract him. But I'll I'll take that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, give me this. Yeet. All right, Sam, what do we do now, bro? All right. Let's Steelstrom says, I posted nest. two pics, Orion and, and finally... Hard yeah, target. Yeah, which one's hard target? The he was getting were There's so many first, unique weapons in the game, and I forget which is which. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. Mm. There. Found it. Okay, so he's reading the map right now. Oh boy. <sighs> I'm pretty gone. sure down the road there's gonna be a modder who decides to add in a small reading map animation here in this scene. If there's anything I've learned from seeing Skyrim and Fallout 4 mods, there's some small details that modders just cannot like deal with. And they're like, bro, I need to change this. I can't, I can't, my immersion. It's because in this moment just now, he was supposed to be reading the map, but he wasn't looking at anything. So then they're like, my immersion. So now there's going to be a mod eventually, I'm pretty sure. Sam Coe actually reads the map, probably. What's wrong? First, it's in so the it's a sniper frontier, rifle. Which we already I have expected. rank four weapon design. No nice. There, but the usual tussling so on the weapon design, the and you got the rifle. Right the so the hard target territory. is a drop. Same but what you're mentioning is now you're able to actually modify that to like max capability, like your your stock, your magazine, your barrel. I like weapon mod systems. Those are cool. Awesome, awesome. I I do need to see what kind of character we can have eventually. Because we haven't really dipped into the crafting because I haven't really had a character who's really about tinkering because the RP wouldn't fit. Like Malcolm Reynolds, they take care of their weapon, right? But that's about it. They don't know how their, sh their ship works outside of general maintenance. That's what they have Wash for in the TV show. As far as engineering on their spacesuit, other stuff, not really. So I need to see what person in a space sci-fi would have background in that so we can actually invest in the crafting because i think it's a cool system there's a lot of fun a good old... well just remember it's about the artifact not them dude i'm really Bring enjoying this background music. Your face that's a bonus it's a vibe it's Let's really pulling me in because like last yeah, week we had the regular Bro, you are so toxic my gosh dude your dad sucks he really sucks all right let's go sam knows sam knows that's why he left he knows all right, so we did this part of the main mission. Let me see what's next. So, Solomon's maps are pointing us to a cave inside of Shaw Gang territory on the frontier of Akila. Can we just fast travel there? Let's do that. Let's see if it'll take us straight there. Yo, this background music though, it's a vibe. I mean, would I like some more, you know, EDM, dubstep, you no, know, 90s R&B? Sure, sure. But for the character, this feels pretty good. You know, frontier justice. Oh. Hmm. Can I wait? I forgot there's not a wait system in this game, unless you're at your ship. Oh. What is that over there? All right, I guess we're going to fight in the dark then. Uh, let's see what I got. Let me reload. Oh, that's a cool reload animation. Yo, it, it changed the battery up top. I like details. Details are nice. Let's see. What can we use? 
We can use this, the Arc Welder, for a bit, and then we can quick switch as we need to. But let's save as always, because I believe things are about to get hairy. Let's have our flashlight on. Let's keep an eye, our head on a swivel. Let's keep an eye out. This is what the weapon looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Is we're, we're supposed to go to a cave right. where the Shaw Gang is at? This is Shaw Gang territory. I, I hear you, Sam. I hear you. Let's just mosey ourselves on in. And let's see what happens, all right? Just a little mosey. A little bit. They're apparently busy, boys, because there's a lot of ships coming and going. All right. Oh. Oh, I see a bunch of red dots immediately. All right. Things are about to get hairy. Running. For the right. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yo, this arc welder's so good. Alright, reload. Battery's low. Dude, so good. Stillstrom says music sounds like from the movie The Magnificent Seven. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wait, who's up here? Oh, I see you. Did I get him? I can't get up there. Don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of him first and then we'll loot. Oh, I see that. I see that. Nice. Wow, they're in the wind now. It's okay, I'm sure there's plenty more. Oh you. Dude, this thing is so effective to turrets. We don't have a lot of ammo though, so it's like best use it up while we have it. Bro, you're just gonna ro roll up on here with no cover? What are you thinking? Oop, I see you over there. Sam. Please hang in there, buddy. Here, I'm gonna flank. Red stuff. Got him. Blank. Wait. Who? Oh, you're you were hiding in the bush. Sneaky. Very sneaky. You're doing great, Sam. We're both doing great. Got him. Alright, there's more. Got him. Wait, who? Oh, you're over there. Are you running? The music. <laughs> it changed a little bit, didn't it? I don't mind it, though. Yo, where are you going? Here, I'll reload. No mercy. No retreat. No surrender. Nope. We can't have any survivors. We cannot have any survivors. All right, so who's shooting over here? Oh, you! Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's the idea. It's supposed to hurt. Where are you? Where'd you go? Did you get him, Sam? Awesome. Good job. Good job. All right, we got one more dude. One more dude. I believe it's a turret. Easy peasy. Nice. Now we feast. I'm kidding. We don't feast on our enemies. We're going to loot our enemies. I'm kidding. Samco is very good with rifle. That he is. Yeah. He's doing great. We're going to take all this stuff because this is money. This Sometimes is money. they're friendly. But close to it. Yeah, these guys weren't friendly. It's the Shaw Gang. No friendliness whatsoever. All right, let's do this. Let's reload it. Yo, not gonna lie, I'm digging this track. It has a jazzy western vibe. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Uh, what else? Credits? Give me that. I'm gonna drink that milk. What you got? <gasps> Ammo. Ammo. Uh, no, I don't need pliers. Wait, what's that up there? Oh, a calibrator router. Nah, nah. We'll, we'll take the weapons off the enemies. Usually these drops aren't that great. That's a duck. 
What level is your character at the moment? At the moment, it's just level 9. We did get lucky uh, when we last left off last Saturday. I'm sorry, last Friday. Is we got the Mantis armor. I'm using a replacer called uh, Legendary Star Lord on the Nexus. It looks good. It looks good. It, it feels more, you know, thrown together like the spacesuits and Firefly. There's a few other replacers on there that I saw. I like this one a little better, mainly because I like the cloak on the back. I like how it moves. So we went with that. And that's what we did last uh, Friday before we ended things. We uh, cleared out the Mantis spot. We used up a lot of medkits. A lot of medkits. It went well, though. I thought we for sure we were just going to get it handed to us like we did, you know, some weeks back with Regina when we were doing the uh, Crimson quest line, and all of a sudden just everyone destroyed us and our ship were like, bro, I'm not leveled enough for this. Still credits? It is. It is credits. You're right about that, actually. And we have Sam with us now, right? Here, give me that. Fair point. Fair point. That's credits on the table. We need money. I need ammo. Alright, was there anyone who dropped down over here? No. But there's more stuff. Given everything I've dealt with, smugglers just don't scare me. I, I mean, I could see that. You were destroying, bro. Uh, more ammo. Ooh, runaway whiskey? What's this? Plus tw okay, what does it say? 12-year-old runaway whiskey. Aged in casks salvaged from old earth. Yo. Plus 12 carry capacity, O2. I'll take it. Yeah, maybe I'll give that to Sam. He earned it. Oh, paper towels. Nice. You gotta like the small details. What about here? That's credits. Give me that. Mm, just a random notepad. Digipick. Mines. Anything else down here? What, what about in here? A settler casual wear. I do pick up the mines as well. I don't, while I don't use those in combat, I just sell them. I like uh, grenades more than mines. Shaw Gang, welcome. What's this? Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much, but I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the Astra don't come around here. So outside of a killer, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. Interesting. From someone named Scandia Williams. Hmm. Interesting. Story. Ooh, tombstone. Ooh, what's that? Farming hat. Gimme. We're gonna look at this stuff and see if I want to use it. Oh, there it is. This is. Oh, this is that good. This is that good-ish. The good, good. Earth brows dark lager, brewed with limitation wheat cultures and roasted malt. Below 75 damage resist. Plus 10 O2 recovery. Very good. Very good. Oh. No. How about this? Stillstrom says give it to Sam Co. the tombstone. I think I am because he's very good with the rifle. He's very spot on. And that one, it's just like a big boom every time you hit. And he he's pretty like, yeah, he's very accurate. So, let me see. Sam? A cave like this. A perfect nest for the ash. It would. Something's keeping them away. That would be the people we just yeeted. I wouldn't say no to an upgrade. See? You get it. You get it. Let's see. Where's the tombstone? There it is. This is a tombstone. It has a scope. And it takes 11 mil. So what I do is give one. Then what I do... Is I'm going to give them... I don't know. Half of my 11 mil. Because I'm not really using it. And then when you go to their weapons. You can press the equip button. Well, this is their equip now. He should be using it now that I put it in his inventory. Is he's just using his default weapon. It should change. Later. Alright, let's see. Let's get our weapons up. There you go. Yo, that looks good. Looks good on your brother. Looks real good. Alright, so now we also need to go here. So we're still looting. We already looted these guys. We want to see if there's any more ammo. Nice. Anything over here? Ooh. Credits. Give me that. Any nom noms. No nom noms. I'm gonna not shoot that red stuff as much as I wanted to. Bunch of poker cards. Nice. Cred stick. <laughs> More ale. That's good. Ale's good. The, the liquor in this game is really good for damage resistance. The old liquid courage feel. It's pretty good. What about over here? Binoculars. Those don't work, sadly. Moonshine jug. 
What about here? Ooh, we got some noms, got some grapes. Toast. I'm just eating it uh, with the consume button. Oatmeal. Stillstrom says, I'm thinking of giving Samco the hard target. Hey, there's fewer people in the game who can shoot as well as Sam. Like, Sarah's pretty good. Uh, Andy's, like, really amazing. Andreja. Sam is solid, like, consistent. Like, they're, you, they're like, regularly hitting something. Ooh, give me that. Smugglers would be wise not to tangle with us. Wait, could I sell that? Yo, the value. Yo, give me that. That's... Wow, somebody will buy that old earth flip lighter. Jeez. Right, we didn't well, loot these people. See, thank you for not judging me, Sam. Thank you. Tag, you are it. What? Congratulations, you have noticed our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in this dry Achilles heat. I know I am. And I'm sure your friends are too. The task set before you now is to go into town and get some more beer. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now go. <laughs> Tag your it. That's funny. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Strillstrom says this way he will not run in front of me. Yeah, he'll hang back more since he has the range. I'm going to eat all your stuff here. Eat, eat, eat. Om, nom. Om, nom, om, nom. Very good. What about here? Ooh. Ammo, thank you. And now we're gonna loot this guy. What's this? That's just pigment? Nah. Broken everything. What's this? This unit has served us very well, yet the time has come for us to admit that without a few new parts, our repairs are not going to last. If we want this to work more than a few days at a time, I'm going to need a new deformable nozzle, at least a functional reactive gauge, and some isotopic coolant to refresh the system. It's not much to ask for all of us, and for this loyal unit, please find these parts. Ah, so everything's breaking down, huh? A lot of interesting random story they have from each other. Stillstrom says, 11 millimeters is used for the A99 guns. It is. Yeah. Those I'm probably not going to see for a while unless I just happen to find one in a vendor. I think uh, a lot of the drops will be level dependent. But if I see one, you best believe I'm I'm using it. They're really, really good. Ooh. What's this? Chapaguri. A savory noodle dish served with steak, often enjoyed as a snack and considered a comfort food. Well, I could use some comfort. Give me. Yoink. And I'm taking that. Thank you for the sleep, Lurk Snake. Get some rest. Get a good nap. We'll talk to you later. Gonna try and take a nap. All good, dude. You let, you let me know if you need anything. Talk to the homies if you need anything. Get some rest. And try to relax. It's all done. We're hoping for some good news. Ooh, get me up here. Ooh. So that had ammo. There was another dude up here we, we took out, but I guess he fell? No, he jumped down. I remember. He jumped down. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah, and there's a few Some more bodies down. Not bad folk. Just to make a there it is. Yeah, because we just kept going. Is we didn't want to stop to loot necessarily. Is that what put us in a bad position? Oop! Give me. Ooh. Uh, let me see if I can get up here. And I can loot this person. Nice. Ah, uh, there we go. Some more 7.7. .7. And I think... Yeah, because we, we hit a, a cannon right here. Not a cannon, but a red tank. And it took out a, another turret down here. And there was apparently a robot they, they they brought out. Yeah, that's what happened. Wubba dub dub. Hello. Howdy, Gundamash. Howdy, dude. Or happy Friday. How's you? How's your Friday? How you doing? How goes? What you up to? Coffee? Gaming? work do tell and if you're uh, new here to this particular character we are now playing as none other than i swear by my pretty floral bonnet i will end you good old malcolm renner to firefly with their unique weapon of course <laughs> i know they're like bro how did you find these i don't know we got lucky we got lucky it was on the nexus let's jump that 
Well, let's go on in. Let's go and get Harry. Gundamesh says, doing the worky work thing and the parachuting into your stream. Nice. I appreciate the parachute. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being here. How are you this morning? How's your Friday? Like, is it your last work day of the week? Do you still have more work coming up? Is Today's my Thursday. My Friday will be tomorrow. But thankfully, Fridays still feel like a Friday to me. You shouldn't have been near the red stuff. Where are you at? Got him. All right, let's loot as we go. Let's loot as we go. Anything I can take here? Ooh. No. Ooh, white hot. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. That's spicy ammo. That's what that is. Uh, let's see. So we don't go that way. We go further down. And I believe one of them, wherever there they are. Yeah, I think we think one of them has a, has a key. There's a little bit of a, a gate. Boom, boom. Yo, this music is so good. Like, for the vibe of the character, at least. There's some more dudes down there. Wait, wasn't there a key over here somewhere? Unless the explosion sent it flying. It might have. It might have. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. We'll see how far we can get. I'm pretty sure I could just yeet on over the fence. Pretty sure. Please drop some of that. I'm hurting just watching you. What? I do what I want. Let me alone. I'll take this. That's a bench. Let's sell that. Sell that and that. And that. What? What do you mean? Wait, who dis? Up. Sam, you mind? That works. Good job, Sam. Gundamesh says, the last work day for the week, but going on an adventure this weekend into a neighboring state for the weekend. Amish country weekend travel thing? Yo, that sounds fun. So are you like really gonna unplug over the weekend? Like kind of put yourself fully in that moment? Like, I'm gonna unplug. We're gonna stay away from the tech for a little bit and chill. Or is it just, you know, just for the scenery, the country, but you're still gonna be like plugged in? No wrong answer here, of course. Just wondering. Uh, here. No. We have the key, right? We got the key now. There we go. I think this was all that was here, was these dudes. And then we actually get a straight shot. Can be fun. Keyword there? Empty. Yeah, it may, it may or may not be empty, Sam. It may or may not be. Gundamesh says, I'm meeting a friend there for the first time, just hanging out. Nice, dude. That'll be awesome. I hope it's a good time. So hopefully today goes by quick for you so you can get on to getting the packing done and head on out. Tandorum. Ooh, Amish cheese. Ooh, do tell. Do you know the preparation process of Amish cheese? I'd be curious to know. Let's go here. Do that. Ooh. Yes. Nope, but it sure is tasty. <laughs> Yep. Going to mesh me the F to N cinnamon rolls. I I, for, I keep forgetting that while and I I may just be leaning into maybe stereotypes I've seen maybe in a reality show or something. And you can only trust so many of those further the you know, as far as you can throw them. Is that is the case, right? Like in Amish country, that there's not a lot of like newer tech as far as maybe internet or computers, or is that just a thing? of the past and now they're fully modern but they still have a culture they live by i've always been curious if that is the way it is cinnamon rolls tandorum says it depends on the sec oh so there's different sex and some of them will have more tech and some won't okay yeah that that makes sense right because there's different i won't say factions but like you said sex there's different areas uh different cultures within that culture that makes sense yeah that makes sense Gundamesh says, staying at a bed and breakfast. I imagine they have internet. Okay. okay I, I would hope so. Well, I mean, at least in the area, sure. But it's more like, um, depending on the site, as Tandorum said, I guess they would decide to not partake of said availability of whatever it may be. I'll be fine, Sam. I mean, I think I'll be fine. 
It's not like I played this before in another life. Oh, nice and dark. Here we go. We're ready. Ooh. Let's bring up the scanner. Let's bring up the cutter. And let's unlock this artifact. Turn that off. All right. Jen, wrong chat. Oh, good. <laughs> Is Genjo online right now? Got to be sure to say hi to Genjo for me if they are. I don't have my uh, Discord up to see who's here or or who's online currently. Right. Okay. I try to make sure I have everybody's tab up. Right. Speaking of, I, I am fine, Sam. I mean, you didn't really wait long to find out if I was fine, but I am. Thanks. Uh, so we need to go back. Tanjoram, I have three Twitch screens in your work. I, I, I get you. I get you. I do the same. I do the same. I have three up as well, even while I'm streaming, because I, I just I just do that. They're my homies. Speaking of, I need to pause while I do that. I just need to check on my tabs right quick. Mind me. I'm just making sure they're playing. They're running. This way I'm counting as a viewer. Okay, I'm going to check on their stream. Cool. I'm going to check on their stream. Did they go live? Because if they did, I'd like to be there. Let me see. Did anybody else go live? Okay. Okay. Let me refresh that. Okay, cool. Cool. Cool, cool. All right, I'm back. So let's save before we continue. It'll, it'll load up, so give it a second. There we go. I'm really digging this background track. So what we're doing now, let me actually bring up my weapon and reload it since we're here. And bring that back down. Is we're locating artifacts. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn in this mission and we'll get a nice bump of experience. And I'll use more to fortify our cell, fortify our ship. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and deviate directly to the Freestar Collective missions and we'll start with that. I believe we're going to be in a bit of a pickle here. Because once we exit, I do recall Case good old... Be a real good place to hold up. You ain't wrong. Is we should be meeting... Shaw of the Shaw gang. And it's not what you might expect. You'll see. Alright, so I'm taking my sweet time. Is as I'm over-cucumbered. So I got a lot of stuff on me. Let me turn off that light. I'm going to check my inventory, see if there's any new goodies I got that I can favorite versus the ones I'm currently using. So that's just 11. Um, where's the one I'm currently using? Right, that is the one I'm using. Okay. 19. Yo, that's a better calibrated Rattler. Yo, let's use that instead. Nice. Awesome. Uh, we're not going to use that. This we have 18 rounds. We got 11. Calibated Grendel. No. Maelstrom. I already have a Maelstrom that's doing okay. What is the Maelstrom that I'm using now? This one right here. Yeah, that one's too good. I should not switch that. And then we got a Tombstone, but that also shoots 11 mil. I'd much rather use the drum beat. Ah, uh, the suppressed lawgiver. Good old sniper rifle. I'll I'll put it somewhere as a just in case. Ah, the Ashta Tamer. I might want to use that, honestly. Alright. I feel like I'm ready. Are we fully reloaded? Yeah. Alright. Save. Here we go. It's time to meet Shaw of the Shaw Gang. And I wanted to say uh, it's roughly about 10.30 central here, so thank you for everyone who's here, who's hanging out, dropping the lurk, having the convos, whatever it be, if you hear me, thank you. It means a lot to have you on here. I think that's far enough. Okay. See, that's Shaw. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. Mm -hmm. At least not before we've had a word. Here we go. You must be Shaw. Yep. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and what? he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who 
I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Mm -hmm. Grab something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the ashtray away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Hmm. I probably should have drank some booze before we did this conversation to have better persuasion. Because I know if I exit, we're probably just going to get in combat. Uh, let's talk. Oh, really? Let's hear it. I mean, I don't know how well this is going to go. What do they need? I have three turns. And in those three turns, I need to rack up one, two, three, four. I need to rack up six points. I could try to appeal to this and just give it a shot. Beating up people like you is how I get my kicks. I don't think they'll respond well to that. They feel like they want a challenge. I don't think bravado is going to work. How about this? We got our stuff. Let us go. You won't You won't have to worry about us again. How about that? I prefer Ooh. my enemies six feet under. Damn. Ties up loose ends. All right. So they want us down. Okay. Like, how about this? Every single bit of your crew that you had here, they're not here now. You fight us, you'll lose. <laughs> oh, tough talk. Oh, but you backed it up yo, so far, did that work? I'll admit. <laughs> Fine, get the hell out of here. Yo, it worked. It worked. I see you again. You're dead. All right. What? This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. Okay, okay, I'll help. I'll help. What's happening? What? What's happening? You said the Ashta? I'll help, I'll help. Here, hold on. I'm coming. So they want us to oh, those are those are those are big boys. Reloading. Where'd you go? Got one. Moving, maneuvering. Yo, hold on, Ashta. Good job, good job. There's another one, right? Did we get them all? Nice. I'll put that away. Shaw, shall we talk? You're lucky the boss is so generous. Uh, right. What are you I mean, still doing here? Out. Hold on, let me I talk. Guess I get you might want to stow some of that. Just mind. to see. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. Uh, which way do we go? Can we go this way? Yeah, I believe we can go this way to a killer city. So we have to go on foot right now. Is the ship is not here? I'm pretty sure. Wait, what's that over there? This is the scan button. Is if you bring up your scanner and you press the scan button, it'll let you know what's around in the area. You know, points of interest. Uh, what's here? Right, that's the cave we were just in. Here is a structure. And then over here... Okay, so that's that is the razor leaf. Okay, so we do got to go this way. Okay, I guess we're traveling in the, in the middle of the night. I guess we should have a weapon ready. All right, saving. I'm actually surprised we persuaded ourselves out of that. We don't have high persuasion yet. Speaking of, I should use a point now. Let's try. Hmm. Well, I can already get better shield systems, so let's do that since we're here. And then on the next level up, uh, we can consider maybe getting more speech persuasion. Which would make sense, I think, for Malcolm. Alright, if they don't attack, we won't attack. How about that? We'll just mind our own business. We'll do our own thing. We'll just do our own thing. As we head on over back to Aquila City. Because we're over encumbered. Oh. I, I see I see some things over here. Hey, you don't start nothing, there won't be nothing, okay? I'm just moseying. I'm just moseying. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. What? What? I'm over here, you're over there. It's fine. I get it. It's your territory, right? That that's your house. Yeah, we need to get back to the lodge, but we need to get back to Aquila first. 
and they're at Aquila City. Sell up off a bunch of the stuff we got. It's a lot. Dude, there's so many weird noises randomly here. Okay, who is that? What is that? Eh, I don't like it. All right, and since we're now not like considered in space, we're now wearing the outfit outfit. Okay, whoops. Uh, are we in trouble now? I didn't realize that we're, I guess we are. I guess we are. Well, whatever you were aiming at is so dead. It's like no one's there. <laughs> I didn't realize it was right there. I was just moving, dude. Oh, there goes a the starship. We are taking our time a little bit getting there only because I'm cucumbered. And as you keep walking, you just like lose a bunch of HP. So what I'll do is I'll move fairly quickly, like, you know, normal run speed. And then from there, I'll let it regen a little bit as we walk. So you can still move. Which I, I really do prefer this encumbrance system versus, you know, Skyrim's is when you're overloaded, you just don't move at all. Fallout 4, same thing, but at least you can get perks that let you move. Here, it's just a base mechanic. If you're encumbered, you can still move. You're just going to be hindered uh, from your O2, your stamina, your action points, if you want to call it that. Not too bad. We're getting closer to Aquila. Dude, there's so much action happening in Aquila City. All these ships moving about. It's a busy city. You could go to the front door, I think. Those are very cool oil rigs. Or, uh... They're harvesters, but I don't know what they harvest. I forgot. I know there's a side quest to find that out. Back to Aquila. Mind me, I'm hydrating. Mind me. So the front door should be over here, or at least a side door, I think. If not, we'll go around. Or is that just a wall wall? Is that a wall wall? It's a wall wall. Oh wait, never mind. Door. That works for me. All right, let's put that weapon away. We're in protected area now. Uh, I need to go up these stairs. Oh, is this just a tower and I, I went in the wrong spot? Oh, okay. It's just, it's a clean, closed tower. My bad. Sirantakui. Howdy, Tack. Happy Friday. Hope your Friday's going good. How's you? How's everything going? Thank you for the pineapple tongue. You know, we all appreciate that. Where's the, where's the door, bro? Door. Malcolm Reynolds just wants to go home. They're a leaf on the wind. Well, Wash is a leaf on the wind. All, all Malcolm wants to do is to go get a drink, you know? That's all he wants. That's all he wants. Let's see, over here. Is the door here? Like, imagine being outside of a well-fortified city with walls everywhere, and you're like, bro, I don't know the way in. Like, dude, just go around. I am. But I'm going around every which way. Exactly, Tanzorum. <laughs> then get them to swap our places. Be running up that road. Be running up that hill. With no problems. That was perfect. Chef kiss. Pinching fingers emoji. Well played. Because that's all I've been doing for the past five minutes. Running up that hill. Nice. Nice. That was good. That was really good. We got a big old sign. Danger. I know. If they open up the gate and go out there, it's on their own head. I mean, I just came back from there. They're far afield. They got no idea what they're in for. You want to warn them? You know I don't like talking to strangers. Introverts be like... And you chose a hell of a profession. I'd recommend staying inside. Outside? Ah. Uh, Ashta. Danger. That... That's all you needed to say? Few word do trick. Why... Why more word when few word do trick? I appreciate that. Makes sense to me. 
I, I am low-key introverted, like, when it comes to, like, in-person things, so it seems like, um, oh, you just talk to everybody in your streams. It's like, well, yeah, like, I'm comfortable here. Versus in, in person, my, my battery, my social battery drains very quickly. So I can hang out for a while, you know, function fairly the well, and then the settled systems. there goes the battery. All right, let's see what outfits did we get out of curiosity. We're not going to stop wearing our old brown coat because we are Malcolm Reynolds. Let's see what we got. Ew, that's that's silly. We're not going to wear that. And we're definitely not going to wear that either. That's silly. Oh, a little settler casual wear, you know, to keep ourselves cool, work in the fields. That's funny. Space trucker wear. Interesting. All right, what's up here? Oh, a farming hat. Oh, Oh, I don't know. The only time I recall Mal ever wearing hats was when he was in disguise. Hmm. We'll sell a bunch of this. Uh, so we hey. had to clean up the graffiti on the range. Right. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much use. I need some place to put the prototypes through their paces. Oh. It stinks. All right. But you know, stretch trash will come back. Lord, worse. Bro, why are you Let calling people? A oh. few beer bottles and graffiti is the least we owe them. Yes, Miss Fair enough. Uh, hello. Every gun gets a full Laredo guarantee. We actually have a city here in Laredo, here in Texas. I'd like to see your selection, please. Here's what I have in stock right now. Thank you. Uh, let's sell a bunch of these weapons we're not going to use. We're not going to use that, or that, or that, or that, or that. That we're going to keep. It's 7.5. This we're getting rid of. Siran says, Ah, apparently stream was muted. Oh, tag. It's okay. It happens. It's okay. No, you. No, you. Thank you, tag. Thank you for, for hanging. Thank you for saying hi to me this morning on a Friday. How's your Friday? How's everything going? How are you? Do we have coffee? Are we awake? I say we as in I'm not. <laughs> Ammo, do we have any 45? We do not. Nah, I'm not gonna. If it's not 45, I'm not gonna buy it. But I was saying hello to you. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your Friday. Thank you for the pineapple tongue. The best part of waking up is pineapple tongue. <laughs> the best part of waking up is pineapple tongue. I guess. I heard Mr. Wright's gonna be looking for an apprentice soon. Hmm. Where's. Right, the other shop's over here. Aha, here's the shop. Here's the shop. Good old Malcolm Reynolds. Wait, where's the... Is it too late? Is the shop owner not here because it's too late? Sir, are you open? Sir? Am I going to get arrested if I come back here? Oh, there you are. Hey, sorry, I was just looking for you. Sorry, my bad. My bad. My bad. Yes. That's a good thing. I can can I buy supplies? I want to do your business quick. The Rangers plan on dropping by for an order soon. Okay. Can you imagine going up to a random stranger? You look tired. That's so toxic. Feel free to look around. Hmm. Sell. I don't need these. We we don't use melee. That I'm gonna keep. Even though we might get a replacement here soon. These I'm not gonna use. Those I'm definitely not gonna use. They're very heavy. This will keep for a little bit. Um, the outfits. Yeah, this is just... Yeah, I'll get rid of that. Looks good to me. Anything else? The mines we're not going to use. Uh, aid. Whiskey. Ale. We're keeping those. Those are useful. This I'll get rid of. Notes. That feels better. Where are we? 84 of 135 mass? Much better. And where are we on credits? 90k credits, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so what was the next part? So we gotta return to the lodge to turn this in. We should get a nice boost of XP. Let me see what happens. Let's do that. Let's just return there. Oh my gosh. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Marzin Gwills just subscribed for five months. Read it, Brian. Halfway to Twitch, baby. 
<laughs> we are almost there. Soon. We're in our second trimester. I'm kidding. I don't know the, the exact terms. Oh. I've been reading. <laughs> Thank you, Mars. Thank you for welcoming back. Thank you for the resub. It's been wonderful getting to know you over this last year. And thank you very much for the resub. Five months. Five months, Duder. You don't have to worry about Daddy Bezos bothering you in the middle of the stream anymore. You still have access to the plenty, plethora of powerful pineapples at your disposal. We got a new one. I call it pineapple trash. Because it'd be that way sometimes. <laughs> but you have access to that. Thank you very much for the resub, dude. It means a lot. Hey, How's your Friday going? How are you? How's everything going? Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, Ooh. did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Well, the parents aren't here anymore. I guess we'll continue on this part. All right, I'll do it. I wanted the XP. Just, what are we building here? And not only to our dear friend Mars, but everyone who else is here, be it the resub, the follow, the lurks, just hanging out with me, it does mean a lot. Thank you very much for being here. Mars says, Friday is going good. Almost lunch break at work, which means my breakfast since it's only 9 a.m. I feel that, yeah, my shift, yeah, I get you. Because your shift the uh, was the 5 a.m. start time too, right? Like as far as 5 a.m. central for me, but it's roughly the same. It's been a it's been a shift, dude. It's been a switch, going from you know being clocked in by five a.m. to now. I, I guess streaming first and then being clocked in by two. It's been weird. I've been I've been doing my best to adjust. I'm not gonna lie, I miss it. I, I didn't mind the five to two as I got to have wonderful streamers up. I get to hang out with chit chat with them. That's non negotiable. And then be done by two and have the rest of my day available. It's been weird. It's been weird. I'll adjust. Actually, we should keep going, Sam. There's uh, some missions I want to do. Hmm. Why not? Exactly. What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories. Right, I new forgot data. he brings this kid along. Right. What? Data? <laughs> uh-huh. All right. We're in. Let's go. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. And as you see any shout-outs here on my channel, y'all be sure to check out my friends, Mars, Tack, Puna Cup, cool Doodling. It's like Christmas if you see in the shout out, it's because I like them. They're my friends, they're my homies. And I like to introduce my friends to other friends. They're good, safe spaces to be. And Mars has some of the funniest alerts. Exclamation disappointed is a great one. Uh, exclamation live forms, also I believe a personal favorite of Kimbro. But Kimbro's a little bit busy at the moment, rightfully so. They got mod duties. Disappointed! <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's too early for that. No, it's not. No, it's not. We've already had song redemptions. It's not too early anymore. So here's what I want to do next. Is we can continue on the main quest here, back to Vectera. I want to go ahead and get started on these Freestar missions. Along with um, our, our bro Sif, our bro Sidon, our bro Tato Chip. Good old Sam Co, a.k.a. Walker, Texas Ranger, Chuck Norris. Well, before we do that, I should see if I can sell more stuff. Let me look. I think we're okay. Yeah. There's only one there. Notes, miscellaneous. Oh, I can sell these. Yeah, we should actually go visit a vendor here. Let's go do that. Take note. What? Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. I respect that, actually. I do. You can learn from almost everyone in anything. I like that. I like that. Almost everything has value. That's a good outlook to have. Nothing is wasted. Is I need to go to a shop and I want to sell a bunch of miscellaneous stuffs. But all that to say, I hope my homies are doing good. Hope work doesn't drag. Hope it goes by quick. I hope you all have good tunes, good music, good company. Be it a stream, be it, I don't know, Netflix on the side monitor if you're a work from home person like I am. Fridays. Hopefully it flies by. I can get to doing the stuff you want to do. Speaking of, and I don't like want to bring anybody out of Lurk if they're busy. Does anyone have any specific stream plans this evening? Uh, since I'll be working, I got plenty of screens available. <laughs> By screens, I mean two. But you know what I mean. Plenty of tabs available to keep some up for some of the homies here. If they're streaming this evening. Feel free to let me know. Because I can hang more in the evenings. So there's, I'm trying to find the plus side in all of that. Is at least I'm, it frees up that evening to actually be around and hang out with other uh, homies that I haven't been able to. Uh, let's go to the spaceport. There's two vendors there, I think. There's Jemison. 
And then if we go around the corner, there's the well, and you can sell there. Let's go there. That's convenient. What? Kila City could really use something like that. Like what? Oh, you mean the tram? I mean, there's only one city, though. It, it is a larger city, that's right. Maybe I mean, would you... Would you even have the infrastructure for that? Let's go here. Is we want to go to Jemison. I found an old earth book the other day. Right over here. We want to sell some stuff. Good old Jemison Mercantile. Hello. Good afternoon. Are you open? There is a bit more in the back if you're not seeing something on the screen. I'm sorry, what? Did you just ask me out? This is a Wendy's. Hope you're finding everything you need. I mean, what do you have for sale? Oh, please, take a look. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we need to sell the miscellaneous stuff because we found some uh, very expensive items, like that one right there. Apparently, this old earth flip lighter? Because the tech doesn't exist anymore. Well, maybe, I mean, they, they consider it old tech, so it's like ancient vintage. So it's like collectors will want this is the original value was like 600 but they're gonna give us 81 so i mean it's it's credits you can take this and that and that and that and that all right anything else i can sell to you grenades i'll keep that'll keep the ammo will keep that will do all right thank you actually hold on you have oh, med kits please take a look thank you uh, what about med kits? What you got? Yes, med packs. Boom. That'll work. Have a wonderful for afternoon. At Jemison Mercantile. Thank you for being you. All right, now we can continue and we can do the old fast travel. Go to Emma Wilcox. Fast travel system. Boop. I do like this though. Versus, you know, going to a. a you know, we'll compare it to you. So going to a shrine, then traveling. At least here, if you have a quest in the journal and it's a trap, you're in a, a location where you're able to fast travel, you can just press a button and go. That, I, I like that. Just promise me we ain't going to visit Jacob, all right? All right, Sam. I know. Look, I don't like your dad either, okay? I know. I know. I I was there too. I, I saw. I don't like your dad either, all right? Don't worry. We're not going to go there. Promise. We're going to go see Emma Wilcox, as apparently they have a job for us to join back up. Get back in the saddle, as it were, with the Freestar Collective. No I wasn't... Alright, thanks. Is to dish out some good old Frontier Justice. Make them Frontier Gangs. Ah, uh, yo, the city looks so good. Oh, look, look, just look at this lighting, bro. Would you just look at it? On me. Take me up, 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 up. <laughs> The coat, the coat, how it flaps. <laughs> Thank you, Tanzorum, for the take on me. Dude, the city looks, dude, this lighting. Look at that lighting, though. Oh, oh, yo, beautiful, beautiful. It is a very nice looking game. And we are running the newest uh, release of the game. Thankfully, uh, all we mainly had in our install for our mods was just mainly textures and meshes, so we can totally update without an issue. It's when it's whenever we use like game changing uh, plugins uh, for those who mod, they're referred to as ESMs, ESLs, or ESPs. Some can be updated mid game, some can have an update to the game in your playthrough and you'll be fine. We're just mainly doing replacers, textures, meshes, like the coat we have, uh, the space suit we have. All right, Emma. I heard you have a job. Yo, I like the way this bar looks, though. Just taking a moment to appreciate it. Dude, it's very nice. All right. Shall we have a conversation, Emma? Need something? I was you told... You got some business with me? Well, I mean, I was told you... You asked. Well, no, the marshal told me to talk to you. Oh, 
Well, if the marshal sent you to me, uh -huh. that means he's looking to recruit you. Uh -huh. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. All right, so, so who is your daddy Freestar and what does Rangers he do? Sorry, wrong character. and security of the Free Star Collective and its people. Okay. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Okay, so Whatever justice, right? Whatever doing to keep the people safe, we do. Okay. Okay. Not my dad. What? <laughs> no, for real. Who's your daddy? What does he do? No. I grew up hearing stories about the legendary Freestar Rangers. <laughs> Me too. Right. Probably half the kids in the Freestar Collective did. Did, and we all. But like with most legends, the truth is usually a little less glamorous. Drink. I imagine you okay. got some Okay. Okay. I'll answer anything. <laughs> Thank you, Doodle. Thank you, Doodle. Thank you for watering the duder. The dude waters the duder. Appreciate you. How's Woshi? How's their day going? How are they doing? Delicious hydration, thank you. We do need more hydration in the morning. Doodle's not wrong, we do. We do. Is it pain work? I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for you. I didn't say I want to be rich. I, yeah. I just said I didn't want to work for free, you know? Time, There's a difference. And such. Doodle says he's good, going to get lunch for us. Ooh, what's, what's for lunch, if I may ask? Let me live vicariously through you. If any of you are eating noms, drinking a delicious drink, let me know. Let me live vicariously through you. Because I already finished my coffee, so I got nothing left there. And all I have really left on deck for hydration is just a bunch of water. That's all I got. It's a surprise. Ooh. Well, in theory, Ooh. it could be anything. Ranger can go anywhere in the Freestar Collective space, uh, even private property. So, okay, so this but is course, a stupid joke, but it it's a, a joke a buddy of mine um, back when I used to work uh, overnight for a call center. We would all hang out and chit chat if we didn't have any calls coming in. As he made the joke that he's like, dude, what if I did this to my girlfriend? I go, did what? He goes, okay, what if I tell her, you know, her birthday's coming up? Okay, then. And she's asking, you know, what I'm am I going to get her? What am I going to get her? And he says, oh, just wait, it's a surprise. That wants to be a and then on the birthday, they go, what did you get me? And then he says, surprise, I have no that money. That being said, the marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. That would be the so, most awful, what's it gonna be? toxic Are you ready to birthday present. <laughs> that would be awful. So awful. They would get murdered, right? They would. I mean, that would be their significant other's birthday, but that would be their... I digress. Might be a good fit for you. <laughs> and we got ads, dude. We'll be back. Good. Before I hand Bruh, yeah, cash, Tundorum's right. I need she would've whooped him? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be your significant you other no more. I got you a surprise for your birthday. Oh, what is it? Surprise, I'm out of money. Get lucky. That's awful. Tell I know, ads. We'll be back soon. Use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Thank Your you, choice. Doodle. I'll go ahead and Come do that. Come back alive, right? and we'll talk about you joining up. Don't worry, we won't get too far ahead. It's just a bunch of convo. Howdy, you, Scoobus. Howdy, Duder. How is you? Happy Friday. Oh, How's everything no going, Duder? It's going good. We're playing our Malcolm well, Reynolds character from Firefly. Joining up with the Freestar Collective. It feels most Firefly to me. Good old justice. Just us, as it were. Oh, she wants us oh, to hey complete there. one of these. Uh, hi. Hi. What can I get you, Emma? Uh, mm. Oh, nothing for now. Came to talk at you. Do you mind if I use the? I feel for the folk in the stretch. Uh huh. I try and give a credit or two to the low house well, when I'm able. That's very nice of you. It, it would have been, you know, a little more noble if you didn't just shout it to everyone you meet that you're giving to charity. Escuba says I'm good. Thanks. Thank you for the shout out. You're absolute welcome. Absolute welcome. How's your Friday going? How are you? Like. Are we having coffee? Are we having noms? Doodle just mentioned that Woshi went out to get some lunch and it's a surprise. But I made the joke that a friend told me some time ago that what if he told the significant other, oh, I'm going to bring you home something. It's a surprise. And then they show up and they go, what is it? Surprise, I have no money. <laughs> it's so toxic. Uh, let's do this. One of the expensive missions. Let's do that. Let's set that active. And Mars lurk for lunchtime. Okie dokie, Mars. Enjoy your lunch. Feel free to let us know what it was if you do, if you're able to come back later. If not, all good, dude. Thank you for the lurk. I hope your rest of your Friday goes by quick. Galactic Emperor Batman has arrived. Batman. Vengeance. The night. Welcome on in. How it goes? How's your Friday? Escuba says I'm good. Having a TV dinner for breakfast. Hey, food's food. Food is food. So I, I take it it's not worth talking about. You're like, bro, it's just TV dinner. It's nothing. <laughs> Mars, I'm making pop tarts. What kind? I'm not. I'm not trying to keep you from doing your thing. I'm just curious. My personal favorite brown sugar pop tarts. 
my personal favorite. Galactic going. Emperor Batman. It's going good. Awesome. Good to hear. Strawberry. Okay, okay. Bye, Mars. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. And feel free to answer that in the chat. Anybody here who loves parts, pop tarts, if you enjoy that, what's your favorite flavor? Mine that I think I could eat day in and day out and not really get tired of would have to be brown sugar pop tarts. But I think my treat pop tart that I remember having a while back was the s'mores pop tart. That one I th I don't think I could do day in and day out. I think that one's more like a treat. But brown sugar, pretty sure I could do that every morning. Pretty sure. All right, here we go. We sh the ads should be done, dudes. Welcome back. Sorry about the ads. Sorry about the ads. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is our ship. We got this last Friday as I decided on a whim to take my little level 5 ass <laughs> out to a high level area to see if we could do it. And we did it. Surprisingly, I used up all my med packs. Not gonna lie. I used up damn near all my ammo, but we did it. And we got the Mantis ship as well as the Mantis armor. This is a replacer. This isn't in the base game. The base game makes you look like a white Power Ranger, but not cool. I don't like the design of the base game version, so I replaced mine with the... Um, on the Mox, on the Nexus mod site, if you look up Legendary Star-Lord, you'll find this armor. As you could either have it inserted as an additional armor, or you can replace the Mantis armor with it. I actually like this. It feels more cobbled together like in the Firefly world with their spacesuits. At first you don't succeed. Dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. If at first you don't succeed. I miss Aaliyah. I just rewatched that video recently. That's in the Discord, by the way. I put the video up. Howdy Tower, howdy Duder. How's Friday? How are you? How's everything going? How you doing? Are we having breakfast? Are we having coffee? I know it's 11 Central. So maybe breakfast may not be on tap. It's, it just still feels like morning, morning to me. Y'all know how that goes. Let me save. There we go. And now we can continue on our mission. Tower says, physically not great. Mentally not too bad. I was going to say that's good, but I know it's like a half and half. So you're like, I'm going to take the W where there's the W. And if there's an L, I'm going to focus on the W. <laughs> physically not great, but mentally not too bad. I'm going to take the win for the mental. Exactly. Like, men mentally is good. I'm going to hang on to that fact that I feel good there. Physically, there are things I can do, you know, to help my physical feeling. Right now, I'm not feeling too hot, if I'm being honest. Like, physically, yeah, a little tired. A little tired. Um, low appetite, for one, for sure. Oh, hi, Sam. But I did manage to eat something just to have fuel in my system. Because it's not good to just not good eat. Good work dealing with those merchants. Thank you, Sarah. Let's go here. We need to go here. But I'm feeling better as the day goes, as the body wakes up, as I hydrate more. Feeling a little better as we go. Tower says, I had bad lady issues, then immediately got a cold. Ew! Right after? So the last week has been rough. I'm sorry, Tower. At least with both of those issues, they're temporary, right? So the lady issues will subside after however long that normally takes. Depending on the individual, everyone's different. Some it's just, you know, three days. Some it's a week. You know, it depends. At least it doesn't last. And then a cold sadly hit right after that. So you're like, bruh, can we not? Can we not? All right. So this is our space suit that I decided to have for our character. Is it feels more cobbled together, more Firefly-ish versus the actual Mantis armor, which just look, it just looks ridiculous. There's no other way around it. It just looks silly. But here we go. We're going to get into some trouble. Let me do this real quick. Pausey, savey. Tower says, yeah, I'll be fine. This character is high-key hot. Well, here, check it out. Are you familiar with Firefly? I aim to misbehave. By my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. <laughs> and if you check out the character's name on our main screen, here, I'll bring it up. You see that on the little... Right next to the character's image, you see the, the name and the level? Malcolm Reynolds. Malcolm Reynolds. I aim to misbehave. Yep, that's what we're doing. That's our character. So we're leaning into that. We're doing a, a faction mission, which feels very space western, as I feel that's a good vibe for us. And that's going to be it for the character, mainly, is do that faction mission, maybe do the main quest also later on. But a lot of bounties. You know, the old... 
the old Firefly feel. Is they're just looking for work to fix up the ship. That's what it's all about. But I do like the outfit though. It looks way better than the base game. Very mysterious. Tandor and Firefly is the best. Was the best. It still is. Was the best. Is the best. To this day, I haven't found a sci-fi show that I love as much as Firefly. There's great ones out there. Like The Expanse is great. Uh, I know some of the the more recent Star Trek, um, spin not spinoff, but you know, like for a new audience, those are great. But for me, Firefly hits hits every mark that I love. Towering Flesh, the actor I used to used to do Nathan Fillion's mom's hair. No, that that's amazing. It's a small world sometimes. That's awesome. Oh, can, is that that's a mine? Hey, what? You're not supposed to be here. Well, um, you see about that. I um. See, whoa, whoa, you. what? Get out of here. No, 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 no. See, what had happened was I, I, I'm, I'm here. I came to the quick trip. I thought this is the quick trip. I just wanted a, a fountain no, drink. Do y'all have fountain drinks? No. No, no. Seriously, do you have fountain drinks? I'm really parched. Can you help me? Can you help me? I'm pausing before I do this. Uh, Mind Crime Duder, happy Friday. How is you? How goes? How's everything? What are you up to? I think The Expanse and Firefly are both different enough that I can have them both be my number one favorite. I think so. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. But if I had to pick, like, just a, a straight up what's your favorite space, you know, opera, your space show, and if you had to pick, Firefly would be mine. But I, I love The Expanse. I've been catching up slowly. I'm, I'm making that a slow burn on purpose, as I think they're really good episodes, so I'm taking my time with them. Trying not to binge, because I don't want to miss anything. And Thomas Jane is great in that show. He's he's really underrated. Towering, yeah, he was low-key super racist and kind of a... <laughs> uh, different generation, am I right, Tower? Space Comedy, Avenue 5? I've never heard of that. Hold on, let me put that on my phone. Hold on, hold on. Avenue 5. Avenue 5. I'm putting that on my phone as something to check out. Avenue 5, mind me. Y'all always introduce me to new stuff I haven't heard. Which isn't that hard, to be honest. There's a lot I don't know. But Avenue 5. And it was Tower that mentioned space comedy. Cool, I got something new. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Mind Krem says, mentally doing pretty well physically. I'm just recovering from major neck surgery. End of January, bro. I'm sorry, dude. I hope you're feeling better uh, day by day. Uh, you're not the only one, dude. Mentally, we're... It's a pretty good day. Pretty good. I can't click it. Ooh. Well, I guess... I guess we're doing this now. Rip. There's another dude over here. Dude, I love low gravity. So much fun. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna take your stuff. And your stuff. Dude, there was... Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. Give me that. Stop it. There's more duders over here. Here, hold on to that for me. You like pineapples? You didn't like that pineapple, did you? Here, you hold on to that for me, too. That's a fruit basket. It's just for you. Just for you. Ooh. Here's another. Hang on to that pineapple. Right there. Right there. I'm going for help. No, you're not. You're not going anywhere. Ooh. Oh, he running. I'm chasing. I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Insert Benny Hill music right now. Oh, I'm coming. No, oh, hold on. No, you don't. No, you don't. Where do you think you're going? Where are you going? You're, you're running up a tower thinking you're going to escape? Bro, there's nowhere to go from up there. What are you thinking? I think I think they're panicking. I think that's what's happening. Nope. Nope. You were going to try to go in there and lock yourself in? Is that what you were going to try to do? Negative. Give me that. But also, thank you for leading me to an entirely secure area, apparently. Because I'm going to take your stuff. Uh, my friend says, I missed it. How far did you say you were on the expanse? Oh, I'm roughly about five episodes in season one. Is I'm taking it uh, episode by episode like every other day or so. So I'm only five in. So far, so good. I'm really liking it. Tandorum says Avenue 5 looks good. Awesome. Ob uh, Mind Crime, is that the Arc Welter? <laughs> I. Oh. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? You're being attacked right now. Are you aware of this? Oh, you are now. 
uh, aim to misbehave. Imagine missing all the commotion. They're like, bro, I was just here having lunch. Yo, they were ter they were totally having lunch too. Look, soba, some pale ale. Yeah, we caught them taking a break on the job when we took out the the area. Wow, that's toxic. Give me that. I'm gonna take that too. Uh, is there anything I need here? Nope, that's a book. That's a book. <laughs> med med pack. Give me. Uh, anything else? Nope, I think we're good. I'm just using the arc welder until we're out of ammo, and then I'm gonna switch to another weapon. I like it so far. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Off Minecraft says sound engineering in this game is amazing too. It is, dude. There, there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of detail. And this is what we have now um, in the base game itself. Is I don't have any additional mods installed outside of meshes and textures. And I did have a music replacer, but I went ahead and just turned that down to play some background space western vibes. And I just found those on YouTube. Uh, just if you look up dark western, uh, no copyright, you'll find it. So far I dig it. It's a good vibe. It feels, you know, like what I wanted this character to play, play through to feel like. Much like I did in our Fallout 4 music and our Skyrim music to feel like it's that character's unique world and experience. So every playthrough we do, be it Dog Mom in Skyrim or John Wick in Fallout 4, previously Arnold from Terminator 2, I tried, you see how I just sent credits, par uh, my parents credits? <laughs> every month, 2% goes to them. But it's worth, it's worth. They're a fun, um, unique experience in the game. But back to that discussion. I try to make sure the game feels like their world, specifically the music. So textures might change. They may not. It'll depend on the character we play. Oh, Minecraft says, yeah, for me, true, the launch of any Bethesda game is the launch of Modder's Tools. Yep. Those are supposedly this year. I don't know how soon, though. But I know there's a lot already on the Nexus. Like, what they're capable of doing, they're already doing. So once the tools hit and there's more that can be adjusted and played with, changed, um, fixed even, fine-tuned, quality of life, I, there's so many things to look forward to. There's your body. I like to move it, move it. I didn't mean that body. Can I turn this off? Everything's fine. It was just a bunch of um, rad roaches. Bro, rad roaches don't exist in this universe. Oh, um, you know those little worm thingies? It's just a bunch of those. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Jake. I got it. It's saved. Now we go in to the deep cave. Oh, Minecraft. Yes, really appreciating the roleplay. <laughs> Thanks, Tater. Well, once I've already played my main playthrough of me, and then maybe, you know, the whole chaotic playthrough, after that, it's like, well, what else? I prefer to just pick a character who might fit in the world, maybe, or not, and then just do the whole, you know, what would they do? In this case, WWMD, what would Malcolm do? Ooh. All right. So what's going on down here? I keep here? wondering if one day some explorer is going to find alien writing in a cave like this. You know, that is a fair question, because aliens exist in Fallout 4, but not so far not here. Well, I mean, like, a, like humanoid aliens is what I'm referring to. And so far, I haven't quite seen that. We've, saw, we've seen plenty of creatures in the course of the game, but like the whole, you know, tiny green men or even tall green men, that whole humanoid experience, and not really. Oh, can we, can we, can we use a bot? Can we use a bot? I hope I do this right. Uh, activate unit. Okay. And then update settings. Hmm. Happy Friday, Storm. Thank you for the work alert. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday. You take care. Thank you very much for the work, Storm. I hope today goes by fast with work. Be sure to carefully read. I mean, there's no user manual. We could really mess this up. Recalibrate. I'll leave it alone. We'll see what happens. This could be very bad. Are you? Oh, you are. You are. You're hostile. You're hostile. You're hostile. Whoops. Failure. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what just happened. Wow. GG, Sam. They were running at him full force and he... Wow. 
They brought an axe to a gunfight. Can you believe that, Sam? Uh, Minecrum says, sorry for the wall of text. I'm using speech to text and the formatting just wasn't there. <laughs> okay, let me look back up and catch up with that. The way I learned to love this game is to remember that Bethesda is pretty much like Wizards of the Coast or TSR. They released the Dungeons and Dragons and the core rule book and the supplementals. And then they have some modules that you can purchase, but for the most part, D&D &D thrives by the DM coming up with his own world and their own rules. Yep, I agree. When it comes to Bethesda, it's as fun as you make it. And we have the benefit of having modders who are doing that for us too. Is they're releasing stuff that then makes it more fun. You now see something cool that you haven't seen before. And now you're like, oh, I just want to do an entire playthrough with that armor, with that weapon. And be this character. Whoop. You're a tanky boy. You're a tanky boy. I will take your stuff. We must, right? That that's how it be. See, Sam gets it. Sam gets it. You're all good, Minecraft. Don't worry about the wall attacks. Do not worry. If I miss anything, you'll be sure to let me know. But I try to keep up with the with the flow of conversation. Also, one of the reasons why I like having single player games. I can just pause and then look over. Uh, Minecraft says that's why I absolutely loathe the criticism of the modders. Will save the game. They're doing but does the job. It's not like that. It isn't. It isn't. The game already is a good base. I'm, we were having a conversation about that, uh, I believe last Friday, as how some were really angry at the fact that, why do I have to save regularly? And you always want to tell them, have you never played a single player RPG before? Or a game that runs on a save system, be it automatic or manual? That's just how it is. Like we're used to that, so we don't complain about it. But in, in the age of, We'll use Ubisoft as an example of the whole autosave system, checkpoint system, everything saved for you. They're expecting that here and they're not realizing, no, this is a different kind of game. It's, uh, we'll use BG3. They have the same system. Autosaves, manual saves, quick saves. But nobody's complaining there. Well, there is some, let's be real. There is some who are complaining about that too. But more so here. But if they've played BG3, you're like, yeah, that's, that's the way it is. That's a single player RPG. You, if you want to make sure you don't miss something or get stuck in a weird loop. And even in the game when you start it, it mentions here's how you save. Like it's showing you how to save on purpose to avoid any possible issues. Tandorum says, Bethesda has the best games. How many games can you throw a basket over an NPC's head and rob them? Right? See? That alone. Worth the price of admission. <laughs> oh, a cutlass. Oh, we can sell that. I prefer to have a, a ranged weapon on me. I only have nine rounds left in this thing. Let's we'll see how far this gets me. I do want to make sure I have a weapon to quick switch to. I suppose we can quick switch to this. And then we'll go there. I just realized my health is low. I should do something about that. Uh, aid. Aid. But yeah, I've been a fan of uh, Bethesda games ever since Oblivion. First game I had on my OG Xbox when I bought it, it came with Oblivion. And I've been lost ever since. I'm pretty sure the mechanic of uh, put a basket over someone's head and rob them blind, that might still be here too, I just haven't tried it. I know you can launder uh, items or credits. That I learned from a wonderful streamer by the name of Spantifical. Are you training for some sort of weightlifting competition? Do you know my name? My name is Gaines. Oh, sorry, you're talking to Malcolm. My bad. Out of character moment. Uh, no. But it's a loot. I don't leave, leave loot on the table. Don't worry, we'll, we'll carry it all back home. It's fine, Sam. It's fine. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. And that problem is stop judging me for my needs. Just accept me. Just, just love me. I'm a flawed human. And I do things. I'm not perfect. And you accept me. You asked for my consideration, and I have yours. This got too real too fast, sorry. Let me save. <laughs> Let me see if I miss anything. Stillstrom says, tried to take Sarah as a companion to do Back to Victera. Crashed again, Barrett is lost forever. Dude, I wonder what's happening. That's good to know. I wonder if I head over there, if I'll end up crashing. Because it is a new release, and they patched it, so there could be maybe... But, but you're also running a modded game too, right, Still? So there could be something conflicting. Uh, Minecrime says, nice, I'm an older dude, so I've been hooked since Daggerfall. Nice, duder, nice. 
I haven't had the pleasure of playing Morrowind or Daggerfall. Dandorum, how could you not try these things? Have you tried taking a plate and walking through a wall? What? That's amazing. Ibby, Duder, happy Friday. How are you? How's everything going? Wait, isn't it very early for you? Or have I always missed you streaming Friday start evening? No, Ibby, um, I had a shift change, a uh, schedule change at work, where um, instead of me being awake 5 a.m. Central and, you know, already working, being around, and then streaming later in my evening, it's like switched. We're now on weekdays at least. Uh, Sunday and Monday will remain unchanged, thankfully. I'll be streaming like 9 a.m. Central. Uh, we're, we're seeing what days will work best for the games we play. And then in the evening, 2 p.m. Central to 11 p.m. Central. Uh, that's my work shift for right now. Um, I don't know how soon that'll change. It could be three months, could be more. But that's that's what I, what's needed at work right now. Not happy about it, but I'm adjusting. Anyway, hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm playing one of my comfort games. Skyrim being the ultimate comfort game for me. That's my favorite game of all time. But I like Starfield. I am enjoying Starfield. Modded Starfield specifically. Oh, Ibby. Have you ever seen the TV show by the name of Firefly out of curiosity? I would like to introduce you to our new character. I swear by my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. I aim to misbehave. That's Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. If you've never seen it, I recommend it. But that's who we're playing as. Malcolm Reynolds of the TV series Firefly or the movie Serenity. Good old Nathan Fillion. That's what we're doing. And that's why you hear the music in the back. You're like, why does it sound like country western? Well, I was trying to lean into the Firefly vibe as their soundtrack was more western country inspired than it was, you know, sci-fi. It was a nice blend. And if I could get away just playing the soundtrack of Firefly over and over again, I would. But, you know, things would get muted. And I'm out of ammo. Oh, don't you roll up on me like that. Do not roll up. Let me see if I miss any conversation. Op says to Tandorum, interesting but great opportunity for roleplay if possible. This could be motivation for your character to make it to the Unity to reset the universe and save those you lost, right? There's a lot of RP possibility like using that. I'm going to go back in time. How do I do that? I need to reach the Unity. I need to go back in time and, and undo you know the old quantum leap idea? Uh, Minecraft says, with a, with a big mod, if you survive any crashes to get there, possibly. I was thinking that Minecraft, that there might be a mod conflicting with Vectera or the travel system. Ibby says, oh, I'm sorry to hear hi, new character. You've seen Firefly, but it apparently didn't make as much as an impression. I also have the memory of a gold thing. <laughs> Steal one of Snake's lines. Ibby, we love you just the way you are. You're amazing. Just the way you are. Shout out to Bruno Mars. No, Ibby. Um, it was a short show. It lasted, what, 11, 13 episodes, something like that. It was canceled because it didn't hit at the time. It, the world wasn't ready. Admittedly, it's a show before its time. Whereas now we appreciate the hell out of it. And then the movie came out and kind of wrapped it up for us. But yeah, but it's still one of my favorite sci-fi experiences. But that's the character we're playing. Is It was a Nathan Fillion who played Castle in the TV show Castle, and who played the main character in the Rookie TV show, this is them. And that's what we're going with. We're trying to live by Malcolm Reynolds' view. Take the good stuff, Let's do the rest. Let me pause again, I don't want to miss anything. Thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, so you would say you aim to misbehave exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Ivy. Appreciate you being here. Yes, do the stuffs. Do the stuffs you need to do. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the lurk. Dandor, I'm always rebel without a clue, right? It's part of the fun. All right, we need to, like, crouch a little bit. Oh, that's not crouching. I just jumped up in plain view. I meant to do this. Oh, there you are. Move, move. I'm moving, bro. Bro. Should I go around? Should we flank? I think we should flank. Here, well, let's take med packs first. I, I, Sam, hold on. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we go. Now we move. We're gonna flank. I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna have a nom nom. I'm kidding. That's a med pack. I'm kidding. Okay, I'm gonna take out these dudes up here. Okay, where are you? I know there's dudes here. Where are you? Uh-huh. Nice. Nice. 
Anybody else? Nope, it was just that one. Okay, we're good. We're doing good. All gussied up like you. Mm -hmm. I swear by my pretty floral bonnet, I will ebb you. All gussied up. Are they, are they down there? Yo, so I have the tactical advantage. Where are you? I know you're shooting. I can't see you, though. Where are you? Strip the shielding. Burn hard. <laughs> There's a lot of great lines from that TV show. Okay. Okay. There's more shooting down here. Dude, is there anything explosive down there? Here. Hang on to that grenade for me. That works. All right, we got a few. Woo! Jumped. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, Sam, I'm gonna move a little bit ahead. I'm gonna try to get across the area. I know there's a few more guys over here, so let's try this first. There's more people. And we also do need to loot along the way. Got him. Whoa! I shot their pack. Whoops. Can I still loot them? Are you still here? Can I loot you? Thank you. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, right here. We need to get a little closer. We need to move around. We gotta make around, Sam. Make, make our way around, Sam. Is this will lead us further down? Oh, Minecraft says that's what I'm saying. I want to be able to see your ship, Reaver Lack. <laughs> if only. Mods. Mods. They will do that. Eventually. Let me hop. Let me take a med pack. Alright. Let's get back down. And then pop our head out of cover. Pop again, because they apparently have so many grenades. All right, do it again. Is there nothing explosive by them? I don't see it. Oh, headshot, nice. All right, let's pop out of cover. Let's go back down a little further. Let's do it again. We'll, we'll take it flight by flight. Got them. Next dude. Alright, we need to reload. Never wise to be in my way. Oh, hurts. We're moving. Tandorum says, now that I think about it, I'm not the responsible one in any game. I had to be responsible in life as a single parent. She's moved out, so I'm trying to find my rebel again. But I've never lost that rebel in any game I played. Hell yeah. I like it. Where do we... Did, did you get him, Sam? No, you didn't. He's still up there. He's still tanking. Nice. They didn't check their flank. That works for me. Nice. We did it. We did it. Oh, Minecraft says when the creation kit is released, then I demand to see a second playthrough, right? Well, because I was mentioning this during our John Wick playthrough, and we're still doing that. Um, we're going to be doing more of that tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central. Is our John Wick playthrough in Fallout 4 is I already did one like gosh when uh, John Wick 2 was coming out and that's when the whole John Wick you know came on my radar and I sh it showed up to me like what is this what is this whole series so I watched the first movie and I'm like instantly you know, was used sold on it and I'm like bro I will watch any movie with uh, Keanu as John Wick right? like no matter how many they are I'll do it so when that happened in Fallout 4 I immediately yeah, set up a John Wick run and this is like three or four years ago at this point so there I am doing that, and there's a minimal number of mods at the moment. Maybe a black suit texture replacer, which didn't look exactly like the one in the movie, but it's, you know, a black suit, good enough. And then, you know, not as many modded weapons as what was seen in the movie. Just maybe a more modernized handgun, a more modernized assault rifle, you know, very basic stuff. Whereas now we're replaying that as John Wick, and dude, there's just so many john wick inspired mods someone actually made the revenge suit with the very dark navy blue t-shirt the black tie the gold tie pin 
It's so good. And you can see that tomorrow on any of Essential, or you can catch up on the VODs. Those are there. We have that. Um, we even found the P30L that John uses from the first movie with very good looking animations, tactical reloads. All that stuff wasn't there when I did my first playthrough. I'm like, yo, there's so much new stuff here. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, so we got to leave. Can we go back this way? Let's, well, we won't know unless we go, right? Let's reload. So we've been doing that been having a lot of fun um, just seeing all this new stuff that's out there. Is I found the Benelli shotgun from John Wick 2. We have that on our character. We're almost to the full loadout. We still, I still want a sniper rifle that I saw from the first movie. Sadly, I couldn't find the exact variant. The closest I could find was just a bullpup design where you load the magazine and the stock. That was the closest I could find. Steelstrom, did you watch the movie trailer with Henry Cavill? Yes, yes. Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yep, yep. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait. Henry Cavill. Alan Richardson in the same movie, the world is not ready for that. They're not ready. No one's ready for that. I'm not ready for that, but I want it. I guess we can just go around and go back the same way we came, right? Let's loot first, just to double check if there's anything we missed. Uh, Minecraft says, I really want a scanner mod that differenti differentiates between flora and fauna. Yeah. Just a little quality of life, right? Is a little pop-up telling you exact, you know, an icon. Just an icon. That would be enough. Very simple to do. I'd be down for it. Alright, I think we got pretty much all the loot down here. I'm just going to check a few more areas. And then we'll yeet on, turn in this bounty, and we'll continue on the Freestar missions. I really do like the Freestar Faction mission, though. Very fun. It feels very Space Western, good old Justice-ish. But I know there's been a number of requests on like the Reddit regarding uh, mods and what we could possibly see. Is there anything here? Right, we were here. Right, we've been here. So let's go up. And then as we go here, I'm just looking for my way out of a cave, bruh. This is, it's all fine. Everything's fine. Right, we took out this dude. Right, so we went around. Right, right. Oh, could I have just used an elevator? Oh, there was an elevator down there. I could have just used that to come right back up here. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. All right, so we need to go this way to get out. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, arrows. Thank you. Thank you. It's like, bro, you're lost here. Here, I know. I know. Same way? Okay, so we do have to go through that door. Okay. So this is the way back. Good, good. I will follow. Right, we did encounter some guys here. So we go this way. And that little arrow system, that's actually not a mod. That's just in the base game. Much like um, if you've played Skyrim, if you're familiar with the spell Clairvoyance, or if you've played Fallout 4, there is a perk called the Vans perk. It essentially does the same thing as when you go in VATS, It'll show a little objective to get you to your next point. Kind of guide you a little bit. In this game, the scanner only lasts for like, I don't know, 10 seconds on that. And then in Skyrim, clairvoyance lasts as long as you have the magic to cast it. But I like little things like that. Just for the sake of immersion, is while there is an objective point over there, at least it's not, you know, bothering me all up in my face the entire time. As I can choose to bring it up if I want it or not. I appreciate those little things. Alright, let's save because we did get in a big fight. Let's do that. Spelunking can be a lot of fun. Nature can be just beautiful. Ah, you're not wrong. I mean, he's, he is right. Caves can be beautiful if you look at them in the right lighting. Can we get a moment? Can we talk? Okay, Sam. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks. So Op Minecrime says, yeah, the little like the things really do matter. And that's another one I want is the scanner to have different color for the clutter items. Yes. You I want a different uh, color for the color items to be a little lighter. And then maybe they could put this in so you don't use, have to use a scanner. Is just have them, you know, be a little brighter than everything else in the world to stick out more. Whereas now they don't. Now, immersion, 
you know, breaking, right? But I mean, you have tech now. You're you're in the sci-fi world. You have the scanner. Shouldn't it just be on generally, much like the Fallout 4 system, where if you use Scrapper enough and you level it up enough, things are just highlighted for you? <laughs> well, that's a first. I agree. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. Oh, yeah? So many people here cold and they expect me to pull some miracle out of my hat. Mm. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. I agree. Have you ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days? He'd flat out deckle. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, I want my miracle, Samco. It appears I left him in my other jacket. So, nice, nice. But really, for some people, it ain't a joke. They have serious expectations. They do. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. It'll do that. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. Uh... It's enough to drive you crazy. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. He feels like he has expectations to live up to. I feel that. Every child wants their children to learn from their mistakes, I would hope. Well, every parent would like their children to learn from their mistakes, hopefully not repeating them. I can understand that. Well, Mind Crime says, the new Google circle to search. Yeah, the future's going to be nuts. It's going to be wild. With Solomon Co. He looked out at the stars mm -hmm. and he dreamed a way to get there. I can respect I that. The first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Hmm. Oh, I get it. That's powerful stuff. It really is. Now, <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad <laughs> influence, you know that? All right, Sam. All right. I am the worst. <laughs> That's what I like about you. Appreciate, appreciate well, your bro-tater chip, bro-side, and bro Seth. Adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. That's true. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. All right. Now we gotta walk our way back to our ship. Which should be over there, yeah. As we go back over there, we can go back to town. Ideally, Aquila, we'll, we'll go there since it's on the way to turn in this mission. Sell a bunch of stuff, get some more ammo, more med packs, of course, as we went through a good chunk there. It's a nice ship, and we got that last week in fighting Possibly, I thought I bit off more than I can chew, but we we barely made it out to get the ship and to get the spacesuit we have, which I think is really helping us in these missions. All right, let's go here. Let's go in the cockpit. Ah, uh, Minecraft. Oh, since you're watching The Expanse, a little trivia: the voice actor of Sam Co plays a role in The Expanse. I think in season two, maybe three. Yo, dude, that's awesome. That's. I like how there's crossover amongst uh, similar genres, like this is a sci-fi game and apparently they got an actor in another sci-fi genre. Not genre, but a sci-fi show that I'm into. That's dope. That's cool. Alright, we need to travel. Let's go to Emma. I'm gonna go back to Aquila City. That's cool. That's really cool. I like little trivia like that. And while this is currently loading, I'm just tabbing out to make sure my tabs are working. That they're still playing so that I'm still supporting my homies so they know I'm there dun, dun, dun. okay my me I'm just gonna water a fellow streamer you know how that goes make sure they're hydrating here you do that and I'm gonna water that person too there you go Y'all hydrate. All right, and I'm going to bring up another tab. Let's see who else is streaming. We're not ending yet. I'm just bringing up some tabs to support some people. Mm. Oh, they're online. What are they doing? Okay, let me bring up a tab for them. Let me bring that up for them. Let me do a little hi hi and a little lurky lurky. Very cool people. All right, make sure that's muted. Muted. Awesome. All right, I'm back, dude. Sorry about that. So now we're here in Aquila. I'm going to go visit the terminal to sell some stuff first. Yeah, we are encumbered. I know, game. I know. I'm cucumbered. I know this. I know this. Here, and I'm going to sell right here. Oop. 
All right, so they have 1,300. What can I sell that's fairly heavy? Well, I can get rid of the melee weapons, because I'm not going to need those. And get rid of one of those. Ooh, a solstice. Hmm. Yo, 19? Reflex side, muzzle break, binary. That might be better, actually. I'll get rid of these. I think ours is better. Modified Maelstroms we don't need. Oh, they're out of... Okay. Now I'm going to have to check my own inventory. And upgrade some stuff. So we have a Calibrated Solstice, Berserker. Corrosive. That's better than the one we have. Where's the one I'm using? Uh, is it down... Here? No. Here? No. Unsleep? Aw, oh, Snake. Did you get the nap, dude? Did you get the nap, dude? You feeling better? I hope you did, dude. I hope you did. Nope, I'm sorry, man. A little restless? Yeah. I mean, if anything, at least you'll sleep good tonight, right? Nah, I'm sorry you didn't get to nap, dude. I I feel that. I feel that. Mmm. This. No. No. No, the rest we can give, right? Yeah, that's a suppress. Yeah, we can sell the rest. Nah, at least tonight. Let me save while we're here. Since I just sold a bunch of stuff. Cancelled stream, though. I mean, it'll open up your evening to really chill. And if you start feeling tired, you can just yeet on out and get some rest. Because it was a big day, dude. I know some people are like, bro, it was just this. It's like, no, no, no. The the body's reaction to, like, stress, anxiety, um, something very nerve-wracking coming up. The body reacts like it just had a full-on hard day of a bunch of, you know... It's the equivalent of, like, an entire 12-hour shift of manual labor. Like, it's not the same, dude. The body follows where the mind leads. If that mind is tired as shit, so is the body. And, I wanna do your yeah. I'll so, like, all that to say, dude, yeah, I mean, here. whatever you gotta Browse do to make to sure you feel content. well, like, do that. And sadly, I, I am sorry that the nap didn't hit. I'm still always sending good vibes out, dude. Always. Because it's a nerve-wracking experience. I've been there currently there and we're all trying to make it dude we're all trying to make it just to hang on to things that we know help us feel well do i have any what am i using that has 11 mil no that's 6.5 that's 11 mil well that's not well you can take that i don't need that you can take that too okay so you're running out okay uh do you have med packs you do okay now can i sell more to you like these spacesuits that I want. Nice. Good, good. Oh, no, that's expensive. Um, no, nope, that's expensive too. Let's see, you have 379. I can give you this. I can give you this. Nice. What else can I buy from you? What about ammo? You have 45? You do not have 45. Hmm. We'll do that. I'll sell another. And this. Better. Now, I was having that conversation with um, a client back when I used to do my uh, my main career at the time was working for a corporate gym. And we were going over, you know, many different things in terms of things um, people will face, you know, on their own personal journey to better health is, you know, mental fatigue. Because it's people do sleep on mental fatigue and just how it really does affect her body and that was my takeaway from it and what i had learned in my own experience and in those we were training is that if, if the mind just can't handle anymore the body's not gonna kind of it's not really gonna do it after that it's like dude the mind's checked out it's tired the stress and anxiety was too much and the body's like yeah bro i can't do more anymore i can't and that's why a lot of people will mention that it's a huge mental game when it comes to Akilah's taking care of yourself, taking care of your health. And the settled systems. Is to really take care of your mind first. Look, please, let me know if I can Here's really take I care of that first. Right now. And then when you're able to take on more, then you take on more. But not till then. One step, exactly. And, the, and honestly, the mind itself can be a huge step to take on. We're all like, you know, if we have a client who has, you know, certain things coming up and they wanted to, you know, do that first, you know, we ask them those questions like, well, tell us about, you know, your life right now. What are your external motivators? Is it your job? Is it you have a wedding coming up? You know, I'm 
I'm prying for the the why they're here, as in what's going to ultimately affect them moving forward, the stress, the anxiety, whatever else. Because I know it's going to affect them. I know it's going to really deter or push them forward into getting results. And we have to ask those questions. And we have to let them know, look, like this is probably going to be your best bet. And some we've had, I've had to turn away for the sake of their own uh, well-being. Is could I have taken them on as a you know a client to train them? Sure, but I would have known probably 99% at the end of it, they wouldn't have been better off. Would they have lost you know some weight? Sure, but that mental capacity, it would have just been just a repeat of where they were within a few months. I'm pretty sure they would have been right back to where they started. So I had to let them know, look, this needs to get in order first. Here's some resources. Here's where you can go. Here's who you can talk to. Here's what's available. That, if you can work that out, work through that process, everything else will follow step. Child, Miriam, good morning or good evening. What time is it over there, Miriam? <laughs> Howdy, Father. How's you? Happy Friday. How's everything going? I hope you're doing well. We were talking a little bit uh, as far as my past and when I used to be a personal trainer. 12.45 p.m. It's 11.46 a.m. Awesome. You're only an hour ahead of me. I don't know why I thought we were, like, separated by random huge time zones but that's good to know here's a trade authority i want to go there i'm selling stuff you know me i'm always shopping we were talking about um how i used to be a personal trainer in my past uh, career while working with a number the of different gyms looks to and how i'm sure i know i operated a little differently where maybe another trainer will just take on the client i didn't if i saw there was an external factor that I think needed to be helped first before I said, yeah, we'll just do the training and everything will be fine. It's like, no, you might want to focus on this first and then, you know, you can come back. And it's not me saying, you know, I won't work with them. It's me saying, look, this is important. That needs to be handled first. That's more important. Your mental well-being, at least for the person that I was working with, that was tremendously more important and that needed to be helped first. Get rid of that. Do I have... I know I have 11 mil somewhere. Miriam says, Father would never live far from child. <laughs> this is true. This is true. How's your morning? How did everything go with the remainder of the stream with the BG3? I was only able to hang out for a little bit as it got late. And the old work shift, the second uh, 11 p.m. Central hits for me, which would be midnight your time. I, I clock out and get right to sleep so I can um, not ruin a decent sleep schedule. So I can be around somewhat. You know, streaming, playing the games I like. Otherwise, I would just be sleeping in and then clocking in for work, going right to sleep after repeat. That's not fun. That's not fun. Not for me. Mm. So that's an 11 mil. Oh, the drum beat. I already got one. Okay, I can get rid of it then. Here, you can take it. And then I'll get rid of that. And then I'll use the new one. That sounds good. Man, Thank you. I didn't mean to, to twerk in front of you, sir. Sorry. Uh, here, that's what I want to do. Right there. Miriam HQ says, We haven't had a team back in a while. So good. Awesome. Awesome. And, and don't get me wrong. I wanted to say, uh, I know you were making the joke. You're like, look, I have girl dinner. I was like, actually, that's pretty well balanced. Because <laughs> I saw, here's here's the way my brain works. And you can blame my, uh, my past and, you know, me getting myself healthy and also working in the fitness industry. It's what I saw on the plate. I saw a nice portion of healthy fats, protein, good sources of carbohydrate and fiber. I saw all that on the plate, but you're like, oh, it's just a girl dinner. I'm like, that's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. Some people would make fun of that. I'm like, bro, that was actually a well-balanced uh, snack. Well, to me, it's a snack because I can't stop eating, but you know, as far as a dinner dinner, yeah, it was, it was good. It was good. I saw fiber. I saw healthy carb, and I selection of proteins in there and healthy fats. That was good. I, I give you the pinched fingers of approval because that wasn't bad at all. Oh, go over here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Am I still cucumbered? No, better, better. I still want to sell more, but this is better. We did all that as we looted so much stuff. You get really heavy in this game real quickly. Well, if you're me and you can't stop looting, I can't stop. I can't stop. Father says, thanks. I love eating like that because a variety of textures makes me happy. See? See? You got to take the W's where you can. You got to do things that do make you happy. 
And it's also a huge plus if what you're doing that makes you happy, such as the different textures in a, a Goral dinner, G-O-R-L. It just happens to actually be a healthy, balanced uh, macronutrient profile. You've got potential. plus plus. Just need to see a little more from you. I'm. Oh, you're back. I did it. How'd it go? I I booped the snoot and I got the loot. I think I'm ready. Good. You did what I asked. So I, I did. Let's go meet the marshal. All right. Follow me. Imagine just like getting hired at a company, being told, "Hey, can you just get me a coffee?" And you come back and they're like, "All right, I'll introduce you to the CEO." That's essentially what's Welcome happening to here. The rock. Howdy, Diego. Oh, that's Diego you were talking about, Stillstrom. Yeah, we'll we'll talk to them later. We want to do the this main mission first, and we'll encounter those side things afterwards. Dude, they're they're, they're really got a pep in their step, don't they? They're just yeah, look at them. Time is money. I get you. I mean, even though we don't make much as the the justice faction. That's all you want sometimes. Good old frontier justice. All right. Oh, magazine. Permanently reload and draw faster. Nice. I'll take it. Marshall. Marshall. Emma. I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Uh. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. Maybe. All right then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. I guess so. Excuse me. Uh, okay, I'm a bye. I've got just one question. Who is your daddy and what does do he do? Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective? Because if you ask me that question, I would tell you that it's life. Miriam HQ. They're my father. And they eat well-balanced girl dinners. Absolutely, Marshall. I'm ready. Good. Here, take these. Oh, here's a You're question of the day. We don't have it like Ranger listed as a pin. But we were talking to Mars earlier, and they had to go do a lurky for their uh, breakfast uh, slash lunch Listen break. Good to what she tells what's y'all's favorite Pop-Tart if you eat Pop-Tarts? Like, what's one you can have day in and day out and never get tired of? The Rangers ain't a bad outfit. I go for brown sugar. Head. The brown sugar Pop-Tarts? Those are my favorite. There's Those I can have daily. We got word from a farmer on Miriam says, I was just about to respond, see? <laughs> it's like we're related. Miriam, haven't had a Pop-Tart in literal years. I haven't either, but I remember brown sugar being one that I could well, have day in and day out versus start. others Doesn't they're like too they strong like way. too sweet that even said, best not so those I could have every once in a while try to keep by the time mind. I'm done with the pack Grab any it's like been a month I'm not having it every day because it's like oh, I had it yesterday it's uh. pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells me okay okay Ugh. are you my mom now is that what's happening hey mom meet dad they're in the chat their names Miriam HQ Tandor and brown sugar blueberry I've never tried blueberry I'm interested. Now, I haven't really had a need for, like, Pop-Tarts necessarily. But I may consider, you know, doing the old protein coffee and then the Pop-Tart side. So I get an, a, you know, it's not the most healthiest form, let's, let's be real, of carbohydrate. But it's, it's the morning. And I usually balance out my days that if I have something not amazing uh, nutrient-wise, I usually make up for it the next meal. As I look at my days as an entire day... Even an entire week, I don't really go by, that meal was bad, and then beat myself up about it. It's like, no, I can make it up later. I can have a healthy dinner. I can have a healthy lunch. Or the next day, I can make better choices. Like, don't beat yourself up. The world will do that for you, you know what I mean? Don't do that to yourself. Encourage yourself. Treat yourself what you can. Be good to yourself. Uh, so we need to go... Ah... It is sweet, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Miriam says, yeah, sometimes brain just wants some sugar and that's important too. Yeah, glucose, it is, it's vital. I know you I, I know there are those who will avoid sugar in general and you know, those may be for medical reasons, but like for the average person who may not have an underlying condition, regular sugars, be it from fruit and vegetable, because it does turn into glucose anyway, those aren't bad. But like for those who do have the issues, yeah, they may need to pay a little more attention. What I've noticed with doctors when they say stay away from sugar, I wish they would be more specific so they're not, you know, almost giving the impression that, oh, I can't eat apples anymore. I can't eat oranges anymore because sugar, they're just saying stay away from sugar. I'm like, can you please tell the patient stay away from heavily processed sugar and feel free to dissect what that means. They're talking about just getting a spoonful of table sugar and throwing it in your face. Like, no, that's what they mean. They don't mean natural occurring sugars. They mean the, the man-made 
the chemical ones. I mean, if you could limit that intake, you'll be good. But again, this is for the average person who may not have an underlying condition. If you have an underlying condition, listen to your doctor. But also, don't be afraid to get a second opinion. Do not be afraid to get a second opinion. It's okay to ask questions and double check. It's okay to double check. Let me go to the cockpit. You are a Dr. John. <laughs> Thank you for believing okay. in me, Father. I'm not. My, my certifications were in sports nutrition, so if there's someone who's getting ready for a competition, be it bodybuilding, powerlifting, sports-oriented, football, basketball, I'm capable of helping them get themselves ready and, you know, perform well. But as far as, like, if they have something pop up, like a sickness, a major illness, a major injury, you know, we defer to other physicians in that aspect. That was where my expertise came in. Uh, was mainly the, the nutrition science behind it and the training methodology. But honestly, everything I learned, you can find on the internet. Like, I mean, granted, I paid to get the cert just so I could do the job and get paid to do the job. But everything I learned, yeah, Google, YouTube, fitness sites, CrossFit sites, powerlifting sites, it's all on there. Like, really? But I mean, of course, I'm not going to tell my client that, right? <laughs> like, no, you need me. You need me. <laughs> you need to pay me to tell you what I know I found on Google. Miriam says, let's say Welcome I'm going to, to be Charlie wrestling Bay. someone <clears throat> to doodle uh -huh, at that, TwitchCon. What then? Way. I would say you may. Wait, would you be adverse to that, lifting weights, it. Miriam? No, I'm not saying getting bulky, okay? Don't get that confused. Because strength is completely different from size. You can't get stronger by not necessarily getting really huge. Would you be, ad you would not be adverse? Okay. There's a program out there called Boring But Big. Now, I'm, I know the, the word can be deceiving. For women, it's a completely different experience. For men, they may put on size depending if they overeat. But if they don't, it's a strength-based program. And I can feel free to send you a link if you're curious or if we're just joking. But that would be the idea is to train to get stronger by just maybe picking up something heavy. Let's say something heavy from the ground. Let's say a kettlebell. Let's say a heavy box. And doing what we refer to as a deadlift form, where you pick up something from the ground, you use your your legs, you dig your heels in. It's almost like a squat. If you do those often, you're already going to strengthen your body. You'll strengthen your core. You'll strengthen your pulling muscles and your lower body. It's a full body movement. I'm taking all these notes. <laughs> like, honestly, that exercise alone, regularly, might be enough. Snake, get a lawyer. <laughs> Stay on top. The bottom has to work more. Yep. That's it? Leverage. Yes. Leverage. Leverage is a big thing in wrestling, too. But strength is also a factor. Speed is a factor, too. I don't know. I guess you'd have to know your opponent. Like, if you know your opponent's strengths, then you have to say, okay, so I need to counter that strength with the opposite, you know? Is, let's say, they're, they're faster, then you need to be capable of reacting to that speed and maybe turning in against them. If they're very quick, they're like, okay, but in order to counteract that, maybe my strength can counteract that. Or if they're very strong, maybe your speed can counteract that. We might be getting into the little random details of something we may not do, but this is fun talk, though. I actually like this. Free Star Rangers. Legion, I'm taking notes no, too. I, I want to get ripped this year. <laughs> I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. Like, if, like for any person that I know. usually uh, would train, well, what happened. we would go to that aspect of it. Is you know, if it was a, a, a lot of females, it was like a big majority of my clientele because they're getting ready for summer, spring break, a wedding. I bought my wedding dress. I want to fit in it. It's like, oh, you're okay. You're you're doing that, huh? You already bought the dress and you don't fit into it right now, but you want to fit into it. All right. If I didn't change my mind, that's a deadline. I was gonna regret it. Then they left. So with them, it was strength-based training, but it was making sure they paid attention to their food intake. Because if they overate regularly and then st uh, strength trained, that's where the, you know, the bulk would come from. Now, granted, with women, it takes a lot for a woman to bulk up, like muscle-wise. And that's a concern for many women. I don't want to look like a dude. I don't want to look, you know, overly masculine. At least the people I trained, that was their concern. I told them it ain't like that. Unless you're taking really sus chemicals, you're fine. They were that way. And they were. They that totally place were. is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails. Miriam, perhaps my opponent is stronger than me. You might want to go with more speed. So you're when you're practicing men, your strength movement, you're not necessarily oh, focusing, on, focusing on slow and controlled because that's more endurance. What, you I'm want what's sure. called burst there must strength. Be more of them coming. That Thank training you. methodology, that pretty simple, is any movement you do, 
It's about right, doing it quick, but doing it safely, and, and finishing the repetition. We'll use a deadlift, Since pick up something from the ground, and, them, and stand up straight. An the idea with burst strength is instead of Let's holding it and slowly things. moving up, you're, tr you're speeding it up on purpose, so that the muscle fibers you'll be using are the fast twitch fibers. Those are what sprinters use, whereas marathoners, they use the endurance muscles, as in the slow and controlled. I want my muscle to last longer. Whereas the sprinter, they just wanted to put out as much powerful um, energy as possible in a short time. So a power lifter, same thing, is they only do one rep, but they do it as fast as possible just to get the movement over. Whereas if you take a marathon or a long distance runner, it's all about lasting as long as possible. Ooh, this is gonna get pretty sus. It's nighttime. Bottoms do work more, can confirm. Nice, Mars. Nice. Snake says, well, if you, if you initiate it without consent, then it is assault. <laughs> yeah, true. And battery going hands-on. Best case, going off Cali law. It'd be simple assault, simple battery. Each are misdemeanors carrying six months, meaning we're okay, right? Right, Snake? I'm kidding. Legion says, I usually say that in the begging beginning of the year, and if it doesn't happen after two weeks, I usually give up. Not this year. I'm taking it seriously this time. Awesome. Ooh, awesome. Feel free to use that indicator, the two-week time frame. If what you're doing Let's isn't giving you something, anything in return, I wouldn't say give up. I would say change something in that what you're doing. If you're trying to exercise routine that isn't quite giving you something, make small changes. Just to one thing, though. You don't have to change everything. Just one of it. Maybe the weight you're lifting, maybe make it a little bit heavier. Five pounds. That, that five pounds over the course of six months of all your workouts adds up. It really does. Small changes are, are where it's at, honestly. It's because you don't feel it right away and you can sustain that. Whereas if you try to make an entire life change, an entire overhaul, not only to your workouts, your eating, that's a lot at once and it can be overwhelming. And then like myself included, if you're overwhelmed, sometimes you would rather not continue. So that's where I want to say my success came from is small changes and sticking to the one small change, just one. And if I could hang on to that one change for a while, only then would I consider what else can I do. I want a habit, a solid habit first, just one thing. Be it getting up regularly at a certain time in the morning, just that alone is, is daunting for some people. If you can do that, then after that, okay, what else can I do now that I'm awake? Maybe a little exercise? And now that's your next habit. Slow, slow build up. Slow build up. Miriam says, you're right, what about if it was referenced nine to ten months prior, so a surprise, but not a complete surprise. <laughs> I like how we're getting into the legalization of this part of it. The legalese. Snake says, depends on the judge. Sentencing could result in a year. You'll do time in that case. Ooh, okay. Okay. Snake says, got proof your lawyer can submit if there was a prior implied consent. Okay. I'm getting shot at with spit. This is toxic. I'm just gonna hit fire as this weapon's pretty accurate. All right, reload. All right, now where are you at? Where did you go? Oh, have somebody film it. <laughs> Got him. All right, is there any more down here? I think we're okay. Video proof, knock yourself out. <laughs> Oh, hello. Where did you go? Where are you? Are you gonna jump up behind me? Let's do this. The boot tracks turn right along the canyon floor. Ah. Good eye, Deputy. Ah. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Bless. I mean, if you have proof of yourself getting knocked out, they're gonna ask, well, who did it? Who did it? That person, Your Honor, then you get up overly dramatic in the middle of the court proceeding. That person right there. And then the, then the you know, judge will ask, please show us on the doll where they hurt you. And then instead of pointing at the doll, you point at your own heart and you say, right here, judge. Right here. <laughs> Legion, perfect gunfight track, right? Ooh. Get ready. All right, making progress. What we're doing is we're following a trail of some people that were harassing this farmer. We want to go ask them some questions, but along the way... Oh, jeez, there was a dude out here. Yo, 
They wandered out too far. Yeah, dang, they got... Ooh. What did, what did these things do to them? Jeez. Jeez. That's no good. That's no good. Yo, very dark. Ooh. Not good. This dude got messed up. You ain't never lying, man. Did you just see that? It looked like they got drained by a vampire. Oh. Grab some cover. Ooh, got you. Oh, hello. Dig Dug? Dig Dug? Who is it? Where are you? Where did you go? Oh, I see you. Reload. Brachos, welcome back, dude. Then the judge finds you for misuse of public resources and advises you to both go to couples therapy. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> the judge. Has anyone ever seen the Billy Madison movie? So I'm bringing that up. Is there's a scene where the dude gave the answer to a question and the dude just berated him so heavily. Oh, Cat Pants Dude or Cat Pants 13, how are you? Happy Friday. Thank you for the lurk. Hope Space is treating you good today, likewise. You have a great stream. Good to see you, Cat. Thank you very much for the lurk. Hope to see you soon. Let me do this here. Oh, I knew there was stuff up here. Another person got yeeted. Who was this? Star Roamer. I mean, I'll take your stuff. That's on the table. Oh, where did you go? Oh, no, you don't. Go over here. Catpen says, hey, I'm just getting ready for my day, but you have it. Thank you very much. I appreciate the alert, Tutor. I really do. I really do. I hope your day goes well. Hope everything's starting off well. Hydrate. We got to take care of each other. We got to take care of the homies. You'd be surprised how many uh, issues water alone will solve. As at least if you do that, those are things you do not have to worry about. Hello. Hello. My name is Malcolm Reynolds. Have you ever seen Firefly? Let me introduce you to my gun. Nope. Stay put. I have tactical advantage, Anakin. You can't win. I have the high ground. Oh, and you... Did you just bury under... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating. Stop. 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 Oh my gosh. Ow, this hurts. Stop it. This is toxic. Are we okay? Are we okay? Ow. Reload. Dude, what is that down there? What is that? Is that like another animal on this? It was. Dude, where, where's the face though? Is that the face? Is that the face? I guess I'm, it doesn't have eyes. Wow. Dude, these things are eating everything around here. This is wild. Snake says, Mars and Will, speaking of bottom, you should have seen the absolute unit I saw in my interview today. You would have turned into a puddle. <laughs> go on. The tracks turn left. So we go this way. Let's save since we're here. Go free. Were they dark, tall, handsome? Oh, where? Nope. Nope. Yo, what if they, like, so if they work their snake, you might have, you know, a possibility of working with said absolute unit. I'm just saying. An immediate perk of the job is like, yo, uh, what's good? Mm. Nice to get out under the sky for a spell. We're getting attacked by... Being a mother means I don't get <sighs> whatever. Much work as I used to. Oh, that's a turret. That's a turret. That's a turret. That's... Yeah, you can follow the ground right there. Let's reload. Legion says, is your partner fighting them with the knife? I know. Oh, oh, jeez. Jeez, what is that? Ew. Ew. What is it? Dude, it's like a huge-ass roly-poly with, like, a weird chompy mouth. Gross. Snake says, 6'1". Oh, muscular, but not overly muscular. Trimmed beard, blue eyes, yo. Dude. Dude. I already have a mental image in my head of that. That you got to you got to make dreamy over there. Oh, 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 yeah, they are fighting with the knife, as I guess they don't have a weapon for whatever reason. I guess that's just who they are. 
All right, that's about us. Speaking of beards, I need to do a trim myself. The, the mane does need to be tamed. Wow, they're just eating everything out here. This is wild. Daddy? <laughs> yep. Keep going. What else? Oop. No, no, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Is there any more? There's another. Let's see you. Oh. Aliens. Snake Cobretti says the absolute unit works in a different location than where I'd work. Aww. At least there's company functions, hopefully. Maybe. I'm just saying. I just want to see Snake happy. Bracho says, how's his credit looking? <laughs> That's funny. What's their credit score? I'm right. Got to think about the future. It'd be that way. Oh, now we're going for some old country feel. Okay, that's... Those are mines. Those are mines. All right. Company, it's the government. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Okay. So, um... I'm, I'm trying to think, like, how would y'all, like, interact with each other if they're working at a different location? Or would it even be possible? Or, or if it's just a case of... I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Loki, we're playing Cupid with Snake, so we're trying to figure this out. Because they saw an absolute unit slash daddy, and we need to make this happen. But how? But how? Oh, I can't drink it! That's sad. Oh, it's not for you, it's for Marzen? Okay, so how do we make that work for Marzen, then? There has to be a way. Miriam, are they financially smart? See, we're all asking about credit score. How do they handle their finances? <laughs> Tell me about their parents. <laughs> Tandoran, what conversation did I just come back to? Sounds fun. Well, okay, so we'll just we'll just catch up here in the, in the main screen so we can do this. So Snake, our wonderful Snake Cobretti of the Twitch Cobretties, they went to a job uh, interview slash application setup, and they saw, according to their own words, let me go back, a 6'1", I'd guess, muscular, but not overly so, trim deared blue-eyed daddy. Corrections officer exams, okie dokie. So they saw that, right? And they were mentioning it to Marzin, who was the first one that mentioned daddy. Like, I already had that in my head. I'm like, oh, so you met a daddy. Cool, cool. We like daddies around here. We like mommies, too. <laughs> we like all of them. <laughs> so now we're like, okay, so how do we make this happen? Is they work in government. It's daddy, see? You get it. I mean, listen to the description. Muscular, but not overly muscular. Trimmed beard, as in they take care of their appearance. Blue eyes. Six one. Come on. That's overpowered. If they were a character class in a video game, they should be nerfed. That's too much. You had me until blue eyes? You don't like blue eyes? What? Snake, I'm 6'2". <laughs> we already love you, Snake. You don't have to impress us. We already love you here. Brown. Okay, so you like dark eyes, brown eyes. Gotcha, gotcha. We all have our flavor. But now we're like asking questions. So someone brought up the mention like, oh, tell me what's a, what's their credit score? What's their finances look like? We're trying to like set each other up here. So we're all asking the questions. We need to find out what their credit score is. We gotta find out if they're financially smart. But if they, can we go by process of elimination here that if they take care of their appearance and that way might they be somewhat responsible? We can't take that as gospel, of course, right? But maybe, maybe. Because there's always the case, right? Is where we'll meet a dude, at least down here in South Texas, where they take super extra care of their vehicle, but their finances are garbage because they put all their finances in their vehicle and whatever it takes to keep their vehicle looking nice. So we can't really say, oh, they take care of this. They must take care of everything else. Not really, not really. We have to ask those questions. Uh, I think for Malcolm, we should do a little more persuasion. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, you just practicing over there? All right, we should prepare for this fight. Um, maybe. The drum beat? Let's reload it. Now quit complaining and get back to your Ooh, 60 rounds. Nice. Let's pause it. Let me catch up on the combo. But that's where we're at. We're like, uh, Snake is merely providing the lead, and we're seeing if we can uh, help the homies out, as it were. Tandora, my question is, do they have kids? Because I asked mine already. It's the same in Kansas. I think it's the same in a lot of places. Miriam says, debt scares me, so I couldn't date a guy who's very, who is very comfortable being in debt. Yeah, I feel that. I I'm with you. I'm with you. 
is that's been a concern for my own family uh, over the course of time. And that's one lesson I learned is if I cannot be in debt, don't. Which is one of the reasons I'm concerned about my vehicle is if that goes out and I need another vehicle, I'm now back into having a monthly payment, AKA a debt. So I'm trying to make that car last as much as I can. And if over time I can save up money to just purchase a used and not have to have that over my head, I don't like debt at all. I don't like it. Brachos, were they a cat or dog person? Do they call their mom often? <laughs> Y'all are silly. I love this. Tandor, am I doing my own finances? So they would have to do their own. It's fair, right? Is that if you're going to bring something to the table and handling your own business, they should do the same. They should be a benefit and enhancement to your life, as it were, versus a detriment, if at all possible. Like, you can't hope, you know, you love who you love. But, you know, at, at the outset, you would know that they can take care of themselves. I can take care of, my, take care of myself. And then as you progress forward in said relationship, you're not necessarily taking care of each other, but you're walking together on the same journey. You know what I mean? I don't know if that puts it in perspective what I'm trying to say. Miriam, it's not the Canadian way. <laughs> Are they a mama's boy? Good question. Good question. Do they have sisters? There's so many questions. Let them fly. Snake, we trying to get Jace hitched now? No, but I mean... I I'm saying the, the jeans sound good. We got blue eyes, trim beard, 6'1", overly muscular... What, what the sister look like though are they a, are they a daddy's girl what are their finances well, like now, what's their credit score look who's here. <laughs> i'm kidding ms wagner called it tandoram says i mean whatever works <laughs> Miriam says you wouldn't be opposed recovery. to a child i would not I be only reason would be you know my current age i'm 41 you still can as i know if i'm going to meet someone you know roughly close-ish to my age more than likely a child's going to be involved which i don't mind i don't hate children in fact i love children but i don't have my own um so i wouldn't be adverse to it it wouldn't be a deal breaker personally as i think uh the person is what matters more versus you know having a child or not or what's up snake what you think you're in a position to make demand i mean what well i've snake got Cobretti. news for you and strim and strim and strim why what happened what what happened so, what am i missing what got any last words i should try to remember the fact that I don't have children, is that is that an end stream? What what did I do, Snake? Tell me. What did I do? I'm placing you all under arrest. If you think I give a if damn I, about the By the way, if I said anything out of pocket, let me then know. Then you've got no Hopefully idea what you're dealing with. Okay. Matter of fact, okay. that just makes it even more fun. Wow. Air them out, boys! Air them out? Excuse me. Uh Yo, this weapon's pretty good. Dude, the damage. The damage. The damage. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is pretty good. Hold on. Okay, let me do this. Let me pause. The way you said you love kids? Okay, sorry, Snake. Didn't mean it that way. No, I, I refer to that as I had the pleasure of meeting my cousin's um, baby mama as he just had a, had a child. And she already came with her own, I guess, if you want to put it in the very, you know, crass terms or more ugly term of baggage, even though they're not baggage. They're a wonderful kid. Their name is Giovanni, like 11 years old. They're a gamer like us, though, of course, the first thing they asked me when we were talking about gaming, do you play Fortnite? That's what I'm saying. Kids aren't baggage. That's what I mean. But that's if you say that word, every single dude or single woman would know what that means. That's why I use that term for the understanding of it. I don't see it that way. I don't see it that way. And I got to meet him, 11 year old, so smart. Um, got to see them play Fortnite on their Switch. They are, their reflexes are wild. So I got to meet them. And of course, you know, when you meet, you know, your cousin's small child that they just have, you get to hold them for a little bit. You know, y'all probably know if you've had children before, if you haven't, you, you have the feels you're like, oh, to have maybe your own, uh, a son, a daughter, a young, you know, 11 year old Giovanni, you know, down the line after, you know, raising them and they end up loving gaming just as much as you do. The, those are what I mean by that kind of feeling. Is I had those, I had those thoughts, I had those feelings like, dang, I wonder what that would be like. Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Wait, did you heal up? Did you heal up? Oh, hold on. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna peek. That works. Hold on, stay put, stay put, stay right there. You're dead. You I, hear me? Sure. Can you not see me? There we go. There we go. Damn. 
That was a lot rougher than I expected. That really was. Talk. We'll talk. Let me pause. Let me catch up on the chat. My bad. No, but that's what I mean. Like, I don't hate kids. Your pockets are good. Thank you, Miriam. <laughs> kids aren't luggage. Baby mama, daddy are baggage. Unless the co-parenting works well. Yeah, I don't know. I, I won't speak for my cousin. I don't know how they're doing. I've, I've heard. Last I heard, they weren't doing so great. Uh, he's He's been a single dude. He's a uh, 39, so he's only two years younger than me. So he's been a single dude the entire time. I have, but I've had relationships on and off. He's been very much a non-committal individual, and now he has a kid, and now they moved in together. So I'm hoping it's the case of him having his own young daughter. You know, they they were just born born this last year. They're so cute, surprisingly quiet as a baby. They don't cry a lot. So I'm hoping that's what happened. Is maybe something sparked in him that he wants to maybe actually settle down uh raise the child so so far it sounds good but last i heard they weren't doing so well uh relationally so i i keep them in my thoughts on honestly because you know there's two there's kids involved it's not just him dating a random person anymore and breakups wham bam thank you ma'am you know what i mean that's that's his thing that's his thing it's not that anymore you can't just do that anymore that's that's a Giovanni. I know him now. I know them as a as a young duder. And, you know, we've gotten to know them as family over these last few holidays with Thanksgiving and Christmas. So now it's serious. So, of course, I'm concerned about them. So I'm hoping that's not the case, that he is actually for real. He's serious about it. Miriam says, I went on a date that had a kid and I was like, OK, let's see. <laughs> Found out he he was every other weekend dad. Very not interested in his kids. Biggest turn off. You're not wrong. Yeah. If they're not interested in their own children, what does that say about them being interested in, you know, a significant other? Like, dude, that's like, that is your offspring. They're a part of you and you have, and you want no interest out of it. So what does that say for just someone they're meeting? You can't really, tr that's, it is a red flag. It is a red flag. Brachos, kids are okay, but kids who only play Fortnite are put on a trial period. <laughs> Brachos. Snake says, Jace is a thought. I am not, I am not. I'm single by currently by choice and more importantly right now by circumstance as I don't feel I'm in a good position to really invest my time and effort that I feel is owed is warranted were I in a better position I would be looking way more honestly I don't feel I can give what I should right now financially speaking um for those who don't know my current uh, living situation I had to give up my apartment my vehicle a lot of things to move back home and help um, my father who got sick, who got ill, is currently no longer able to work, to help my mother so that she can keep her head above water, keep her home. It's a home that I've had since high school. So a long time and we don't want to lose it. So with that situation, it's like, what would it be like bringing someone home, right? Like, hey, can we go back to your place to hang out and have a drink? It's like, yeah, but I'm going to have to introduce it to my parents also. <laughs> You're like, seriously? It's like, yeah, like that's that's the truth. It's, it's not a case of, you know, oh, you just don't want to leave home. It's like, no, 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 they need the help. And in order to help, I have to be here. In terms of financial support, as I found the best uh, route to really help them as much as I could was to, you know, let go of the rent with an, with an apartment let go of let go of the higher uh truck payment because i had a truck at the time and you know save as much as possible to help as much as possible and that's where i'm currently at so not a thought snake you're being awfully defensive there buddy <laughs> no i i'm you know i'm me i'm me red ale 50. but i'm also old-fashioned i was raised a little old-fashioned to be um i guess they refer to them feel free to correct me if i'm wrong for those who are more familiar with uh relational terms now it is am i correct in thinking that a demisexual is someone who's only sexually interested in someone they have a more emo emotional personal connection with am i right in that description if i'm wrong feel free to correct me as i'm catching up on the new terms that are being discovered as we go snake bra we are not in the same situation <laughs> miriam we're all spending our time on the internet right that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing tandorum if someone doesn't understand the situation or doesn't try to then it's a big nope yeah but that is the fear right is to invest and then when that conversation comes by you're like oh i just wasted my time you know but all that to say i'm not against i'm just not like actively pursuing if that puts it in perspective that's wine 
I do want that wine. Snake says, I moved back home and had to help my dad out too. Yeah, you get it. You get it. It's not a fun situation. And it can be a little defeating. But thankfully, I know it's not going to last. Things are getting better. They're getting better. Now it's a matter of hoping... Um, he feel, By he, I mean my father. That he feels confident enough to actually get back to work and do something. He can do something. He's not disabled. They didn't get approved for that. But it was enough to where... Since approval didn't happen to get some kind of government assistance, you know, help had to be asked for. And it's not just me providing that financial help. It's me. It's my sister. It's her husband. There's a lot of us chipping in because he he lost an entire income. That's uh, that was it's a, it's a big hit to my mother. So now we're all kind of chipping in, helping. What is the number? Oh, that's the faction badge. Okay. Okay. Okay, shall we talk, Emma? Uh, are you okay? Not really. <laughs> no, uh, let me see. I thought we were dead for sure. I know what you mean. Let's search the area. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can find something that explains what these guys were up to. We should look. Um, I, I'll see what I can find. I already know where to go on this one. Likewise. I'm pretty sure I can find it. Okay, read the jobs done slate. Notes. The job's done. The job's done. Okay, we'll read this. Let me make sure I'm catching up. Uh, Miriam says, family woes hit harder. They do. I remember when my dad died, the whole family stepped up to make sure mom would be okay. Yeah, it's the same situation as well. We still have him, thankfully. It, it's still like, you know, the income's gone that he was providing. So we have to we have to do what we can to make sure my mom doesn't lose her house. Is um After 20 plus years of having it, they're very close to paying it off. And then if... You know, it's gone, they lose it. Like, all that time, all that effort, all that money, it's just down the drain. So, we're, we're all pulling together to, to help. And me, I, I moved back in since I'm not able to help and also, you know, have uh, the apartment I would I would like or be able to pay for a vehicle. It's, it's very much a financial situation right now that we're trying our best to work out with. Legion says, a duder that helps the family when they need is definitely a keeper. Thank you, Legion. Appreciate you, dude. All right, let's see. My contact on the inside came through, and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. Wow, imagine stealing a vehicle right off the car lot. That's ballsy. That's ballsy. I'll drop it off at the agreed upon location once the credits are in my account. If you need any other ships jacked, let me know. I'm always looking for work. Okay, so they got a hijacker. Hmm. Hey, I think I found something. Can we talk? find anything interesting? I did. Check this out. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. Interesting. So, this Man, time flies. It's already 12:30 Central, bruh. Where did the where did the, the, the morning go? Jeez. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm. Back. We're not ending yet, dudes. I usually go to about one. Let's get back. So, we got about a half hour more. We should be able to wrap up this quest and maybe take on another and get into more shenanigans. So, I talked to you, right? Is there more to find out? Or do we just go back? We go back and talk to them? Okay. Uh, where do I go? We go this way? I'm following the little arrow to head back to them. We could fast travel, could we not? Right. Let's just do that. Brock just depends. How's this credit score looking? <laughs> I love the credit score joke. Should we just make a command moving forward so only we know the inside joke? Exclamation credit score. And then maybe the quotations will be, no, seriously, though. <laughs> here's what I have in mind. This is the joke. Okay, this is a joke. Here's here's where my brain goes with that. Okay. Is that this will be the command as a joke. Okay. Is it'll be this. And then this will be the response. <laughs> it's like oh we're all laughing no but for real yeah are y'all dating yeah what's your credit score what's your credit score <laughs> right no seriously though <laughs> i'll make it just for y'all so now we'll all know this inside joke like bro what is with the credit score command oh you had to have been there and that'll make this stream special to us yes yes we should talk what's the news uh stuff happened let me save there we go let's talk 
Wait, no, 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 no. Let's talk. Let's talk. Sorry, sorry. I'm here. Can we? What happened? There we go. Did you find those men? I. Uh, they're. I guess. Long story short, short. They won't be like showing up again. I'd always heard. Bracho says every time we swoon over some on. random character and in your game, I've exactly. As they're like, yeah, Jason, so they're worthy. they're a cool looking character and all, Why but exclamation phone? credit score. No, seriously though. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That'll be funny. So I have no way of knowing if there are. They're like, yeah, sure. They're they're this and that, so but what's their credit score? Though? No, for real though. I can't thank seriously. you enough. F R F R for real, for real. <laughs> couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. How do they treat their mother? How do they treat their father? Of course. All the same. Do they keep their uh, Do they keep their place clean? If you have any do they take good care of their pets? You know, all these random questions like, are these really need to know? You know what? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Deputy. You can learn a lot from uh, someone's behaviors. We need to report this to the marshal. Yo, do we get a level? Yes. Glorious. I'm gonna use that now. Let's do that. What is this? Do I have anything I want to invest in right now? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? <laughs> Ride knife. Um, I don't have dog me with us, but I'll tell you what. I'll get a companion. We'll get Sam Cole, and I'll give him a beer. Will that work? Will that work? We can do that. Ooh, boost back training. I already got the rank one. Let's do... I still need more ranks there. Engine systems. Energy. Ballistic. I can get a rank. Hmm. It's all about the ship for Malcolm, so let's do that. Do this one. So I still need more damage there. I still need to use ballistics on my ship to have that. Okay. Okay. And that's piloting. That's security, payloads, robotics, engines. Wanted to get more. Wanted to get more. So what I could use in the meantime... More wellness. Even if I gotta shout out loud, the mind of the only face you'll see gonna stand up Do you notice me. Yeah. Oh, Goofy Movie, such a good movie. If you haven't watched it, I recommend it. It's probably on Hulu. Alright, let's save again. I feel like I'm missing something. And now for something completely different. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'll get Sam Co. Sam. Here. This is for you. Oh! I'm supposed to give you a gift, not you give me. I'm supposed to give you a beer because Ride Knife wanted to feed Dog Meat, well, but this isn't Fallout 4. Skimp on your P's and Q's. Well, thank you. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. Appreciate you, Duder. You didn't have to. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. Fair enough. He's a Lou Goblin like we are. Field. Who knows? Check in with me now and again, and I might find more. Roger that. All right, we're... Oh, silver, dude, bro. Hey. Good okay, well, you. here, I don't have sure, silver well, to give right? back to you, but, I mean, someone redeemed a snack for our companion, so, um, would you like a, would you like a beer? Yeah? Cool. Take it easy. Thank you for redeeming Give Dog Me to Treat, is I gave Sam a beer. <laughs> it's the best I could do. <laughs> Ryan, I, I guarantee that it's on Disney+, Plus. everything's on Disney+. Plus. I was, uh, I heard about this new, if anyone's into Marvel shows, I had heard a new one called Echo. Is I think uh, the character Maya Lopez, which of course I'm interested in because I'm also Latino. As I heard of that and I was like, oh, I think I want to see that. As I started the first episode, so far so good. They're uh, leaning into their perspective since they're a deaf character. And that's how they experience the world. So we kind of get the, the point of view, which I've been really liking that aspect is when what happened is they showed up to take out a rival gang. And first you hear all the fighting, all the all the noise. And then it shifted to her perspective, like f the camera's focusing on her and how they didn't hear anything because th they're they're a deaf individual. So it was so cool the way they worked that in and then them fighting them back. And while they couldn't hear anything, that, that was so dope. It's so far, it's really well done. I'm only one episode in and after seeing what I saw and how, you know, Daredevil showed up. I was like, yo, they went toe to toe with them. What a badass. I'm like, I want to see more. I want to see more, but I'm. I'm pacing myself, is I have a habit of when I find a show I'm interested in, I just binge. And I and I miss stuff because I'm binging. Love Daredevil. See? Mad Murdoch, am I right? You want to talk about an absolute unit, I'm just saying. that That's a good looking man right there. 
an amazing actor so good buddhist how are you doing dude or happy friday how are you how's everything going today shout out to the orange energy drink i saw on your stream the other day that's also a good flavor you're like what he saw that yes i did i may be a big lurky boy but you know <laughs> i try to hang out i try i really do legion i'm there it is there it is <laughs> See, when I saw that, I was like, that's the same drink for the... I was like literally snapping, pointing at the screen. That's the drink from the emote. That's the drink from... <laughs> I'm doing great. How you be? I'm doing good. I'm trying not to look at the time because it's going to be time soon to end out because, you know, schedule change. So I'm trying to live in the moment. You know how that goes, you know? Trying to enjoy the moment, enjoy everyone here, the company, the conversations. We were trying to hook up Mars with a with a daddy a Snake encountered at their interview. Snake, feel free to fill in Buddhist on that, because that's a hell of a story. Legion, I'm going to watch only one episode and ended up watching them all. See, Legion, you get it. I'm trying not to do that, as I know I'll miss something. And so far with that first episode of Echo, it looks good. I, I like what they're doing. They're giving you a unique perspective, and that's so rare. I want to see more of it. Buddhist, this is the only moment that will be this moment, so fully live it. I love that. I love that. Try to appreciate the moments. Like time, they pass, so enjoy. Enjoy them while they're there. Ride Knife says, the fact alone says enough about her power. If you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Daredevil and hold your own, yeah. Like, I, I was watching that as I was thinking, you know, they were totally going to get rocked by Daredevil, and I'm like, no, they're still fighting. Oh, they're still fighting. Oh, she had him on the ropes for a second. What? Who is this? Maya Lopez, who are you? We're talking about the Echo TV show that just came out uh, for from Marvel Studios. So far, pretty cool. Um, a character with a, with a unique perspective, that being they, they can't hear. So they've been doing a lot of shifting of perspectives to show like a big loud scene. And then now the cameras focus on them and you don't hear it anymore. I'm like, oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. They're awesome. They're an awesome character so far. I love their story. Um, not only am I, you know, part um, just straight up Latino, but on my mom's side, we are Mexicano, but we're also part Native American. So they're bringing a lot of those cultural. Um, they're paying nod to the culture. They're talking about it more. They're not just letting it. Oh yeah, they just happen to be this. It's like yeah, but they're they're not just mentioning it. You know, it's a factor. It is a driving force. There's a reason. A character may make decisions based on the culture they were brought up in and i'm glad that's being seen is it's not often the last What's thing the i saw that featured a little more native american background and story was uh, prey that showed up on hulu it's a predator movie in terms of the alien the predator but from a different a different heroine a different hero we confronted them but that was the tribe apparently my uh, family descended from not only part Comanche here in South Texas, but uh, but Navajo. That's a job well so it was dope. It was dope seeing that. Miss Wagoner safe. We did the job. Everyone's okay. Everyone's fine. For the time being, yes. But she could still be in danger. Well, yeah. If they showed up once, That's they might show up again. They wanted her place. land for some reason. We don't what know why they wanted their land. We're trying to take the farm. We're trying to figure that out. Well, for one, the dudes who showed up trying to take their land. They were tough, well armed, and it really sounded like they were well supplied, as in maybe mercenaries. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. That's what I'm saying. Now, we gotta follow the money. We gotta follow the money. On why these men Buddhist priest says, because they always want the land. Mm hmm. The old uh, Western trope We want your farm, we want your land. <laughs> I swear by my pretty floral bonnet, I will end you. All right. Legion, I loved Prey 2. Mm. Prey's such a good movie. Very good movie. Here, the they they did the tribes inside. well. They did the tribes very well in that movie. On. I was very happy with it. They were dressed in Ride Knife. I could see her and Murdoch the being best friends the if they weren't on the opposite Why? sides. They have a lot in common. They really have a lot in common. That sound familiar? But that's the first episode I'm in. No spoilers. I'm probably going to try to get another one in off the screen if I can. Um, while working, maybe have something on the side. Ago, after the Battle of Nera. Oh, so that's what, what happened. Left of it anyway. So these mercs, and we're trying to follow with the money, apparently they're not just mercenaries, they're a former faction that was dissolved after the war, but still exists? I think if we find the thief, we'll, we'll get our answers. Hell, 
It's our only lead. I mean, it is also our Both only choice. I was trying to put downtown, a positive spin on it, but he's like, bro, that's all we got. I know. I know. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of the world. Oh, that's some very peppy Western music in the well, background. They came out of nowhere. Thief. Just oh. make sure you stay on oh. his good side. Very happy go lucky. Interesting. He's on the Council of Governors. <laughs> and I, the I just put up a big answer. playlist of a bunch of non copyright Western soundtracks. That's very, like, very peppy. <laughs> Normally, I don't mind I it, actually. That kind of dedication, <laughs> it makes me laugh. But you need to maintain a sense of perspective here. It's almost like a Western our comedy or something happening in the background. Our power comes from the Council of Governors. Ba, 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 ba. Remember that. Did this you? is your assignment now, Deputy. I'm not hopping in my Work seat to the, the to the happy-sounding tune. You can about those men on Monterey. I don't know. It sounds like a happy Meantime, song. I'll look into a possible connection with the All right. Good hunting. Thank you. Go to Povo's orbit where hope is built. Where hope is built. Is that the the medical station? I think so. All right, but well we should sell first before we Oh, hey Sam. Hey Sam. We should go sell before we continue on any kind of adventures. Nice Emma, thank you for your help. Appreciate you. I'm proud to be helping the Free Star Rangers. Yeah, you are. Look at you. Every position matters. I like their earrings. Those are very cute earrings, actually. Very cute. You know, a little compliment costs you nothing, right? You know? <gasps> Buddhist, no! For our love, ain't nobody singing about the stars above. <laughs> I hope y'all like the prime alert. I set that up earlier. <laughs> Buddhist priest, thank you for the prime. Thank you for for the Bezos prime. That means a lot. Thank you so much for supporting. That was epic. <laughs> Buddhist priest plays just subscribe with prime. <laughs> it's prime time, right? Right? <laughs> You're like, jeez, Jason. It's like what? I I love memes, and then I love leaning into the memes, and then it's like I got a prime. It's prime time, right? I I almost did a different song, but that one felt better. Thank you, Buddhist. Thank you very much for the Prime. Thank you for supporting the chaos that is me. Welcome to the Fruit Basket. You don't have to worry about Bezos bothering you in the middle of the show. And you have the access to the plenty plethora of powerful pineapples at your disposal. Feel free to use those vigorously as much as you wish. We did add a new one, uh, Pineapple Trash. I, I just saw it. I thought it looked cute. I thought it was funny. It made me laugh. And I was like, I'm just going to put that in there. As I got an extra emote slot that I never used. There it is. Because sometimes it be that way, right? <laughs> Like you do something and you're just like, uh, uh, and that's the feeling. <laughs> so if things don't go right, it's like, yeah, yeah. Let's save. Boop. And thank you again, Buddhist. That that really does me more than you know, honestly. It really does. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the prime. I wonder, did we already clean out their credits? Do we? Yo, I, I totally thought this was a random object that was just spinning because Bethesda. It's supposed to do that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was like a gun and it was just spinning. I'm like, huh? What is this? Yeah, that's that's a that's a win thing. That's normal. My bad. <laughs> Buddha says, so totally don't mean to drag you off topic. Did you say you grew up in Arizona? No, negative. I grew up in uh, Texas, South Texas specifically. We do have some family in Arizona. Is as far as our Native American tribe, like from my mother's side, our grandparents, right? No, 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 you're good. Is your right? Is that in that area, Arizona, South Texas, a little bit of Oklahoma and Kansas, that's where the Comanche part uh, resonated. And then as you got to the Northern Plains, it kind of branched off with a little mixture of Comanche and Navajo. No, I'm sorry, you grew up in Texas? No, you're good, you're good. We, we tangent a lot around here. But you are correct, like as far as me mentioning uh, the Native American part of us. Yeah, it, it was just a big area, just big open plains to southern plains. That's where um, part of our tribe and then in the northern tribe, apparently they weren't at war, I, I don't think, by the time, you know, my bloodline started to happen with my mother's side. So a little bit of Navajo and Comanche, and then we were mainly uh, residing in Texas. And then, so that's my mother's side, and then my father's side no being offense, Spanish Italian. I don't have time. They Feel migrated, I think around. it was either my grandfather or great grandfather. They migrated over here and they came to a region they felt most comfortable with maybe similar cultures uh, sad to say they felt more comfortable around 
areas that maybe have more darker complected individuals. So that's you know, that's how it goes. And I can't blame them. They're like, hey, they just felt safer because it was a it wasn't a good time, you know, if you didn't have uh, if you weren't just straight up Caucasian at, at the time they migrated. Buddhist priest says, I'm giving you a hard time because I'm new Mexican. Nice. <laughs> like minded, like individuals. Yes, it's a small world. That is a small world. Is that you meet someone and you just think it's all about potato and energy drinks and you find out oh, there's more. I'm just kidding because I love potatoes and energy drinks. Although I haven't had an energy drink in a few months. It's a treat. It's a treat and I would like to have one more. So far I'm just on the coffee grind. Get it, grind. Coffee. I'm awful. I know. It's fine. Gun to mesh. But wait, there's more. <laughs> As with all people, right? There's more than just where you live, where you were born. There's more. There's more. I think I'll go to New Atlantis. Because I think their inventory should be refreshed by now. We can sell there. And see what kind of funds we can restore. Go to Paradiso? I know that mission. Interesting. Buddhist priest place says, There really isn't much past potatoes and energy <laughs> Well, there are worse traits to have, am I right? Those are wonderful traits, because people love potatoes. And if we look at, you know, how much energy drink companies are making hand over fist. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. But also, lies. I've, I've heard the conversations in, in your streams and off stream and general conversations. There's a lot more. There's a lot more than that. And it's wonderful, by the way, if I haven't said that. Because that's why I'll hang out in your chat and just hear the conversation and lurk is... I love hearing different perspective versus my own. I feel that's how you strengthen your own personality, your own character, is not just living in your own internal echo chamber, but hearing other people's points of view, other people's outlooks. I like learning, especially a heavily sheltered upbringing. So hearing people's different experiences, it means a lot. I learn more. I like being around stuff I don't know, because I won't know otherwise. Know you. <laughs> we have that emote, by the way. So, Buddhist, if you ever want to throw the know you at someone, we got one. We got one. Okay. I, I hear you. I hear you. What can I do? What can I do? Okay. There it is. There it is. You now have your own Uno reverse card. Use it. Use it if you must. That's what is it there for? I use it often. I can't help it. If someone says something nice in general, I'm like, no, you, I, I can't help it. If someone shows me kindness, I immediately throw it back. <laughs> there are worse traits to have, you know. <laughs> but I'm also being told, like, dude, you just gotta say thank you more. It's like, I know, but it's hard. It's hard just to say thank you. It's like, because my, my default is to give the kindness back immediately. And the thank you's in there, right, in the action. That's my way of showing thanks. I don't know. I don't know. Can I... Can I board? Do I... Do I not board? What do I do? Do I get closer? Okay, let me get a little closer. Get a little closer. Wait, what is it saying? Board... Nia Kalu's ship. That is the pole though, right? Oh, I gotta go around the corner? Interesting. Okay, so I'm just not close enough. Okay. Let me pause. Wait, so this is a random area. Okay, so I'm not even looking at the right thing. So this is a random area, but where I need to go... Is somewhere over... Here? Oh, okay. Okay, this makes sense. Okay, now I know. Okay, I got confused. No, I'm not going to target lock. I'm not going to shoot. I'm, I'm just traveling. My bad. No, we're going to board. We're going to board. I'm not going to shoot you. We're here to help you, actually. Yo, I'm digging that track in the background. I like that. Okay, full honesty, I, ha I don't listen to a whole lot of Western style music. So I found this no copyright versions on YouTube and I just threw the playlist together. It's not bad. It is not bad at all. I'm, I'm digging the vibe. Nice clean dock, Captain. I uh, thank you. 
Wait, what, what about the rest of my dogs? What are you trying to say, sir? I'm kidding. <laughs> As usual, Jason, just say thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Yo, this is a nice ship. Do we go down? Legion, you could shoot it for the lulz. Legion! We're here to help them, Legion. Oh, can I not... Uh, where do I... Do I go lower? No, there's no way lower. Oh, did I mess up already? Oh, hey, Sarah. I think I went down, but I went all the way down and I wasn't supposed to. My bad. My bad. Mind the frames, those will clear up here shortly. Okay, here's where I need to go. There we go. It's apparently something rendered in a little weird. It'll clear up usually when I get in conversation. Oh, are you alright? Yo, you you don't look good. Please tell me you're here to help. Well not to try and steal my ship. I mean if we talked to Legion, he wanted me to steal your ship for the lols, L O L Z. He's like, bro, why did you wrap me out? It's right there in text. They can see it. You can see it, can't you? Can't you? Uh the marshal told me to help you. <laughs> you need my help. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. Y yeah, don't laugh. You're you're not in good shape. Preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. Okay. I ran them off, but they got as you hands. do. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. No, you didn't, Legion. I give it back after. <laughs> Legion, don't you ever Just change? Just patch her up you enough me? to get to Hope Town. <laughs> The rest can get fixed it's up okay, there. I'll shoot it, I'll take it, and I'll give it right back. It's fine, it was fun. Thanks. It's just a joke, bro. Am. It's just a joke. Rangers <laughs> always got each other's back. That's what we do. I guess I'm a ranger now, even though I'm a deputy. I'm considered a grunt. Let me save since we're here. Boop. There we go, much better. So, I need to repair systems here in the ship. Wait! Sam! How did you... He was right beside me, how did... He's magic. I've got the magic in me. The name is Sanko. Okay, so I gotta restore this right here. Let's put a little bit of lighting. Alright, we got that. Wait, can I eat your noms? Yes, I can. Thank you. Thank you for feeding me while I repair your ship. Thank you. So I go lower and I go higher. Okay, so now we can actually travel. Can I have any of this stuff? I can! Thank you! Thank you! I'll take it! Yes, please! I, I appreciate the assistance. Now I go down here. And we go here. So, fun fact is, since you're helping this individual repair their ship, you're getting a preview, a glimpse, of a ship you yourself can earn along the process of this faction. It's, it's, a, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. All right, so we did that. Now we got to do this one up here. System, run that diagnostic again. I hear you. Let me go up. Because I need to go further. Not to this floor, but the one up top. And then I can repair another item. And then once repaired, we should continue on the main mission. Yeah, this is the top floor. Okay. Yo, that has some Red Dead Redemption vibes. I dig that. I dig that song. Can I have this? Thank you. Thank you for supporting our adventures. There we go. Are we back in business? I almost want to jump down again, but I fell too far down. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Nope. The game pushed me back up. No, no, no. I want to do it. Let me do this. No. All right, fine. I'll use the ladder. Jeez. All right, fine. Fine. I'll play the game as intended. I want it to parkour. You ruined my parkour. Okay, I'm not gonna eat that. I already have full HP. I don't I'm not gonna take more of your stuff. Are you okay? Are you good now? Thanks. That should get me home. Lots of help. Uh so the outlaws might need to be dealt with. You're right. Yeah. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. Oh wait, is that where they're at? The Polvo station? Their I might never find them again. Okay. We can't let that happen. We can't. Because they'll rearm, they'll gather their forces, and they'll come back. Where were they headed? 
They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Moon? Good hunting. Moon, you say? Hmm. I, w I guess they have an outpost they can create there on the moon? Miami Sam, we need to go. It's time to go. Legion, the track is getting me hyped. It's leading up to something. As I think we're, you know, feeling the old desperado feel of, I guess it's time to take out these outlaws. It's time to misbehave. I'll squirm about pretty floral bonnet. I will end you. Let's undock. Let's see how quickly we can nail this out, okay? It's about five minutes till we normally end. If I can knock this quest out before we do that, I would love to. Let's see. Let's travel. If I can just get there, get off the ship, and just go to town, so to speak, misbehave as much as possible, I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh, wow. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. 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 So it's a space fight. Dude, they destroyed a bunch of ships here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I guess we're in a fight now. Bro. Hold on. I'm trying to move. Trying to move. I want. I want to get a targeting on them. Let me get targeting. Let's do that. Let's do this. That works. Let's get the next guy. Let's move. Yes, they do. I'm gonna go after this guy right here. I'm totally getting shot from behind, but that's fine. Do this, damage their engines. We got him. Alright, next one. Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, there you are. There you are. Nope, 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 nope. Alright. Thrusters! Woo! Okay, okay, here we go. Bap, bap, bap. Yo, the music, though. <laughs> that was pretty great. That was pretty great. The music was so good. We did it. We did it. We got him. We got him. We got them, they're outlaws. There ain't no verse. Nothing in the verse that can stop me. And I stated previously, by my pretty floral bonnet, I did end them. <laughs> I want to get the loot here. I think they're ship parts, maybe? No, but that's okay. We can sell that. All right, now, where do we go? We're meant to fly Hands up and touch the sky Don't stop, cause we're so high Let's do this one more time We love Nicki Minaj. Thank you for starships. That was perfect. Perfect, Dan Dorm. <laughs> Thank you for the belief, Legion. <laughs> so we don't go to Povo Station, right? We go here. We go back to Hope Town. Cool, so we did it. We got ads currently. Those will be the last ads running. I will be right back shortly from those ads. And then we're going to close it out. We're going to go to Hope Town. <laughs> want to make sure everyone's here before we do. Yo, this music is so good. Down. It sets the mood. It sets the mood. And if you're curious, if you'd like to have that for yourself, just as background music from your stream or whatever, uh, Marika Sean is on YouTube. I found them. And then I found a nine hour playlist, funnily enough. Uh, I think that one was by, let me see, let me see, let me check my, my tab. Who's this one by? Uh, this one, Western Music for YouTube, by A Cat Selects Free Music on YouTube. That's the page I got that from. Very cool. All right, let's exit ship. So we got about a few more minutes till those ads are done. Okay, that's, okay, so this isn't like a danger zone. To the danger zone, bah, bah, bah. highway to the danger zone. This is not the danger zone. This is Hope Tech. Aha. Where things get a little sus. I'm gonna sell since we're here and I needed to sell anyway. All right, let's do this. Sell weapons that I don't need. I don't need melee. That data, that dead eye is actually pretty sweet. That's. That's a fancy looking thing. 
Yo, that's better than that one. Here, take that. I don't want that. I don't like the Equinox. They're, they shoot fast, but it's tiny damage. It's like, why, why did I just use my ammo on that? Why did I do that? Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. I don't like the Deputy Hat. Yo, that outfit's kind of dope, but I can't, I can't get rid of the brown coat. I just can't. I can't. No, I'm selling the others. That's Mal's coat. We gotta wear it. We gotta wear it. I can sell these, though. Uh, I can sell these. Any miscellaneous? I'm not gonna sell my badge. That's a bad idea. Alright, let's have our sidearm. And for those of you who may not have seen it, we actually found a modded pistol on the Nexus to look like Mel's handgun. Check it out. We will rise again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Buddhist, you get me. You get me. I was surprised, is when I was starting up the run, I just thought all we were going to have is, you know, spend time on making them look a little like Mal Malcolm Reynolds. And then sure enough, that, uh, that coat, someone changed the textures and made it look more like the brown coats. Because if you watch the Firefly show, it's like a, a mix of red and brown on his coat. So the color's not quite perfect, but it's the closest I could find. And then sure enough, the same modder put the pistol in the game too. I was like, dude, like... These, these went up very recently, so I, I was very happy. I was like, dude, this is perfect. This is what we're going to do. We will rise again. I aim to misbehave. I've had a lot of fun with this character, obviously. <laughs> we're still playing. I'm going to put away my weapon because that's aggressive. <laughs> it's time to save, dude. You know what time it is. It's about that time. I hope you've been enjoying the tunes. I've been enjoying them. I like the, I like the vibe. It feels very, you know, very country western-ish. The game shut down. We're going to the ending screen. I hope y'all have had fun. I've had fun. Thank you, everyone, for being here, for spending time with me, for giving me your irreplaceable currency, that being your time. I want to thank Buddhist Priest Plays again for this prime. It really does mean a lot. It, it really does. Uh, it's been a tough change. Um, going to mornings, not sure anyone's going to even show up, and then seeing everyone here chit-chat, lurk, that means more than you know. It really does. Thank you again, Marzen, for the resub. Thank you, everyone, for redeeming the, the channel points. Those always make me smile and laugh because I'm hearing music I myself love. And it's just a good feeling to sing a song you like. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Ibi Buddhist, thank you very much. Have a great day. You too, duders. If you need to head on out, I do not blame you. What I like to do around here is I like to share the love if I can. I like to raid on out to someone who's streaming, a friend, someone we also love to hang out with, you know, someone cool. So all that to say, my ears are open. If there's someone you would personally like us to raid to, who you know is currently on now, who maybe would appreciate a raid, feel free to throw the name out. I'm just looking at my list right now, seeing who's online. But very much my ears are open if there's someone you would like to see us raid to. So far I'm leaning towards maybe a beach, since I almost never get to raid him. Red Potions is on. Uh, I see the slacker named Jack. I've seen him a few times. Ogre Tusk. I think Red already raided off. I'm not, I'm not mistaken. And I did raid Pooh the other day. Brachos, it's always fun. Thank you, Duder. Um, I'm glad you'll have fun. I'm glad you're enjoying the escape with me into these different worlds. Gundamish, as the chat chants, raid. Raid. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what. Let's let's uh, get a veggie raid. Let's do that. Veggie is a beach. A V V E G E. Let me put him here. We'll copy his name. Dude, these Western tunes are so good. Am I wrong? These are good. I like this. Uh, I missed the stream a couple more hours. Sorry, Stony. Sorry, Duder. We'll be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. Central, for more Fallout 4, for more John Wick. Don't worry, Stony. Sunday and Monday long streams, they are unaffected. Santiago Escobar Iglesias. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Guys, y'all are here. We now have our own inside joke. I'm going to put this credits, uh, the credit score command in later. So, y'all, that'll be between us. But here's where we're going to go. Uh, this is my homie, our wonderful friend. We've been playing games together ever since Fallout 76. Wrestling joke? Oh, no, 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 Gundamish. It's a joke about how uh, my name is Jason and my mother, as we're Latino, of all the wonderful, beautiful Spanish, Mexicano, even Native American, Italian name she could have gave me. She just gave me Jason. So that was me going on a rant. Why didn't you call me Santiago? Why couldn't I have been an Escobar? Why couldn't I have been an Iglesias? 
I know you're laughing at me. It's like, bro, I've actually had conversations with my mom. I'm like, mom, why? What? I saw a TV show and I thought, oh, JJ sounds cute. I'll just name my child JJ. Really? I get that name and my sister gets the beautiful name Angelica. And I get Jason? I'm fine. I'm not mad. I'm fine. Legion Nelly's playing Power World. You're kidding. What? We're still going to Veggie, by the way. <laughs> but that's dope. Power World? I hope they're having fun. I hope they're having fun. So let me set up the raid duders. Here we go. That's the Veggie. The first raid message is going to be for the followers. The second is going to be for the sub duders. So if you don't mind, if you do not see the raid message, do me a favor. Just refresh. We want to go hang out with Veggie. He's currently playing Cyberpunk 2077. He's played Starfield previously. And he's our favorite sloth. Wonderful dude. Very chill vibes. If you're looking for a chill stream to have in the background to watch and hang out with. His community's funny. He himself is a funny dude. Very chill. Very nice, soothing, relaxing voice, by the way. So not me <laughs> but he's got you covered i'm gonna copy my raid message so i don't forget let me do that but again thank you for being here um it's meant a lot to have some homies that i've seen previously uh, drop in and hang out and spend some time with me nelly needed a break she's loving power world good I, I know she had expressed some frustration with the so lately i'm glad they have another game to play that people are still hanging out for i know that's a concern that's awesome I'll, I'll be sure to drop in and say hi to them too so they know like oh they're only here for you so no 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 I'm like no we, we show up for the people we show up for the person but having said that duders y'all have a wonderful friday i will see y'all again 9 a.m central if you're able to be up that early i would love it if not i understand it's a saturday sleep in take care of you but i love your faces thank you for being here i will see y'all then bye guys